I know behind closed doors. I know behind closed doors. Those tears, those crocodile tears cover your fucking chest. All over, baby girl. I know it. There's no hiding it. Everybody fucking knows it. Why are we still glorifying this bitch ass shit? Why are we still glorifying it? Why are you fake ass motherfuckers still being a poor example? Talking about balance. Like, like going and partying and having your drinks is balance. You just look like a fucking idiot. And the thing is, is you must not know no real pain. You must not know what addiction. You must not know what doing a stretch because of your bad choices. You must not know what any is. That's for them privileged ass affluenza having baby bitches who need that balance. Straight up. Bad example to your people. What you call balance is going to be one day be your kid in the gutter addicted to what you call balance, motherfucker. And guess what? It may not happen. But if it does, you know who to blame, baby girl. You know who the fuck to blame. Most powerful word in the human language is never. When you're putting it towards all these things that are holding you back. All these actions that limit your potential. When you say never again like I have, that's it. That's the answer. Never again sleeping in. Never again cheating on my shit. Never again fucking myself over on goals. Never a fucking again using any of these substances. Never. When you say that, and it was difficult for you not to, because you were drawn to that fake-ass reality, if you really care about people, you'll show them it's possible. That's what I did in the pen. I showed these motherfuckers that on Christmas, Thanksgiving, your birthday, your kid's birthday, and when you miss that visit, it's possible not to run to the dope. Come over here, big dog. I'll get, so, I'll get a workout with you. We don't have an addiction problem. We have a fucking discipline problem. We don't have an addiction problem. We have a problem understanding ourselves and knowing that if we alter our consciousness in that painful state, we don't need to use the substances. It all exists within us. Everybody out there fighting these fucking addictions with these false definitions saying it's a me it's a fucking medical disease and this and that it's a fucking choice motherfucker if you want to empower yourself tell yourself it's a choice make the choice to get on a fucking team of motherfuckers fighting these real issues don't listen to those bitches around you that call it balance and then every two weeks tell you they're quitting and they never do bitch straight up it's okay though Plenty of my friends I'm talking about right now. They're going to watch this video and be like, damn, Wes, you talking to me? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I fucking am. Because I love you. Because I care about you. Because I know your next level lies on the other side of these hard fucking truths. These hard truths that you need to know. Yes, those tits are painful. Let's get rid of them. I got you. Yes, drinking that alcohol is hindering your ability to push you and your family forward financially, physically, and emotionally. Yes, it is. You're detached. Because I get hate, but it just rolls off my chest. I don't give a fuck. Haters hate on what they gave up on. They gave up on being their best. So if they're hating on me, the person telling them to be their best, I guess we know what they gave up on themselves. Don't give up on yourself. Come fucking over to the side of positivity. Come over to these positive actions and swap all those negative addictions to positive addictions. Now I'm addicted to being a good father. Now I'm addicted to being a good husband. Now I'm addicted to bettering myself. Now I'm addicted to everything that suits my agenda, my vision, and my family's well-being. I love you guys. Don't think that your conscience isn't warning you. Stop. Imagine if everybody who wanted to act in this manner had someone just saying stop. Just stop. It's not going to end good. You're not going to feel good about it. I never felt good about committing massive acts of violence on people. Yeah, right before it sounded good. It always sounds good because they wronged you. They said this. They did this. They did that. Then right after, since you're fucking human, since you have a heart, you have a conscience, right after you commit that act, Karmic debt, you're going to pay and it's going to be thick. It's going to be an exchange, an eye for an eye. You're going to lose all those years in a fucking straight equivalent to the pain you caused that person. I guess I caused a lot of pain to lose all those years. You guys, don't make this mistake. I had to address this. I've seen a lot of frustrated people turning to violence lately. 
I've seen a lot of it, heard a lot of it in my close circle. It needs to fucking stop. In all reality, you're giving your power away. You're telling some motherfucker you supposedly don't have respect for that you need validation from them by acting in a manner that's gonna not be in alignment with your end outcome. Foolish, let's be smarter, let's go. The fact is by definition, a man is responsible and responsibility educates to get up early and work on yourself. A lot of people get up early. A lot of people get up early because they're forced to. But who will get up early to seek personal growth and be their best self, to spend time with themselves and learn themselves? And then especially when the adversity's thick, going through a breakup, hard times financially, things in life are not going your way. Your circumstances are stacked against you. What if you learn to just want to get up and be with yourself, be by yourself and work on you, your best self to in turn, give that individual to the world the rest of the day? Because I look for the energy leaks. Where are your energy leaks happening? Your greatest resource in this life is energy. It's not time. Time is not your greatest resource. It's energy. So we look for the energy leaks. Wherever you can pinpoint energy being wasted, couple that as an energy leak that's gonna lead to you not serving your end goal. So the second someone's arguing on social media, boom, energy leak. The second someone wants to argue in person about something that doesn't serve me, boom, energy leak. The second I'm going negative in my head with a negative scenario that doesn't suit my agenda, my optimal outcome, boom, energy leak. These are all fucking energy leaks. Pinpoint the energy leaks and up your most valuable resource. Then crush your day. Building yourself is the best thing you can do for your family. Waking up with a direct plan, direct clarity, direct focus on your daily goals. That's how we move forward quickly. Noticing these energy leaks, extinguishing them, and having a direct plan of action with no fucking negotiation. So the main fucking answer the main fucking ingredient to all this is action. So I show you every day, no matter how I feel, I'm gonna go invest in myself, thus increasing my internal self-love, my love for self, my respect for self, because I uphold my word to my fucking self. And then the rest of the day, I'm gonna respect and love others who live in the same manner. And then I'm gonna give the hard motherfucking truths to those who need it. Painfully present, staying painfully present is the name of the game because what keeps you from your goals, everything you want in this life is the fact that you tap when the pain gets real. When the pain gets real and you tap, this is the problem. So how do we defeat this? Stress management. Stress management is the key to your potential. Stress management is the ceiling to your success level. When you raise your level of stress management, you will not tap on anything. I raised my level of stress management in the penitentiary by being painfully present for all these massive bouts of adversity. It's personal development through this process and then knowing that where you're about to tap is your current level of stress management. And when we raise that by not tapping on Sunday, not tapping on Wednesday, not tapping when you're fucking sick, not tapping when it's someone's birthday, not tapping at all when you're fucking tired, that that's how you raise it day by fucking day. You guys are experiencing it now. Every time you think your gym's gonna stay open, they reclose it. Adapt, adapt, pivot, motherfucker. This is what it comes down to. Who the fuck you are when shit's not going your way is who the fuck you really are. Because I know today the same problems that happened yesterday are coming. The same problems I've had my whole life. Having trouble understanding why people act certain ways and just not running from the solution that you have to dig into every day. Every day I go to the gym with a problem and I sit there with it in my head for an hour thinking of every solution and I come out with the best one every time. The best one every time. After about an hour and a half of deliberating on a problem every morning. And that I solved. And I'm okay with. Because now I have clarity from something that was stealing moments of my life. I was potentially about to walk into a situation and make the wrong mistake. But then I sat on it long enough. I put the fucking work in the real work. Thinking it's the hardest work known to man. That's why so few people engage in it. 
So get up, spend time with yourself, understand yourself, figure out what's coming your way today. It's the same problem that came your way yesterday. That drink, I just need one. That dope, oh, I'm just getting well. That food, it's a trigger, it's right there. Everybody's eating it. One donut ain't gonna hurt. Why are you sabotaging your fucking goals? Fuck. The only thing you can't do is not be true to the best you know. The biggest failure in life is to not be true to the best one knows. You know it. That's your conscience. That's the guideline. The guidance of regret, the call of your conscience. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. If you can't pinpoint this or put it together, you're too far off. Keep looking. Keep looking everywhere except within. Because no matter where the fuck your bitch ass goes, you're still there. And if you're not okay anywhere, it's because there's a problem inside. There's an internal problem. And you're looking for external solutions to an internal issue and it's never gonna fucking happen. But that's why I'm here. And that's why I won't give up. Because I love you guys. And a true friend, a true motherfucker, true leader, the real ones, they'll love you back into character. Because they don't give up. And love's a verb. Stop looking around and look fucking within. Follow this process regardless of how you feel and realize as a big fucking boy, that your growth, your change, your level up does not come packaged how the fuck you want. Let's go. You don't have an alcohol problem. You have a fucking discipline problem. You do not have anxiety or depression. You have a discipline problem. You do not have eating issues. You have a discipline problem. Like Viktor Frankl said, between stimulus and response, there's that space, that space. If you're disciplined enough, your anxiety and your depression don't exist. At that moment, when you're choosing to go in the past and be depressed about something that happened a while ago, you're disciplined enough to choose something in your current life and circumstances that you're grateful for. Choosing gratitude over depression. Choosing what you have in your life now to be grateful for over the past shit that you think you fucking want. You think you want. The same thing with the future. Going into the future and being anxious and letting it fucking run a train on your mindset. Or you can just get to action. Cross out anxiety, call it energy. All too often, a bitch ass motherfucker wakes up, thinks too much, creates a false scenario that's not going to take place today, and then fucks his day off. So I know I have to buy myself time with my positive acts. Going to the gym buys myself like two hours of positivity. Then I start to get negative. It starts to creep in again. Then I do some more push-ups and more burpees and I buy myself some more time. It's not only positive acts. It's not only physical acts. It's helping people. It's reading certain gems, certain quotes, certain passages and books that open you up again, that give you that fucking clarity. It's all this. Every positive act, every fucking act of personal growth, everything you're, go, you're doing to develop your internal state better and change your external world for the greater, for good, everything you're doing is buying you time from that negativity that's coming. It's coming. There's a problem coming. There's an there's a, there's a undesirable mind state coming. You're going to step into it. We need the negativity and we need to overcome it. And you don't overcome it in that fucking bag. You don't overcome it in that bottle. That just makes it worse. That, that exponentially increases the anxiety and the depression. Keeps you stagnant and causes regression. Understand that tomorrow you're going to have the same problems as today. See the fucking signs and get it done. Let's go. If you fucking can't learn to focus on each day and master each day for your own fucking sanity in there and out here, you're fucked. And I wasn't doing it right at the start. It was all imperfect action that led to where I'm at today. And I'm not doing it right today. There is no perfect path. There's all your heart going into all you know. Hey, I've really leveled up. You haven't, motherfucker. You're not being tested. The only way to test your level of growth is to test it during that adversity when it's really thick. When you got two hours, did you still make it up when the sun was coming up? We have to stick to this vision and the vision is creation of the man inside that never gives up. The creation of the man inside who sees these as wins. Oh, it was harder for me today? Perfect, I got this. Instead of the victim 
who's going to blame everything else and say, that's why he was a bitch. That's why he had tits. That's why he couldn't do it. That's why he drank. That's why he drank and cried about it like a fucking bitch. What the fuck is a vacation? Nobody should take a vacation until they've created a fucking daily existence they don't need a vacation from. Essentially, you'd be going on vacation to live a false reality and then come back further away from the daily life you wish to create. Fucking foolish. So many people are where they wanna be if they didn't take their two vacations a year. They're already there. They're already fucking there. And if they weren't drinking, bam, they're already there. Looks like we solved their bitch ass problems and their problem is that they're not making their growth, their daily process, their business, their life, their vision non-negotiable. If you could read the minds of the people around you when you're acting like this, you'd change the whole shit. The people you respect, the people you love. If you got their hard truth, it'll change you. That's why hard truths change a motherfucker. It's so fucking real. When you start telling yourself the hard truths, that's the level up. Positive change is the hardest thing. That's why nobody does it. And all negative desires are simply frustrations of positive desires. Anything negative you're choosing to do, you want the opposite of. Add power to your life. Add it. Add power to your life. Only through suffering will you discover your true potential. Only. If you really heard the dialogue of your people, if you really heard how they honestly thought about you, you'd probably change real fucking quick. Because if you ain't proud of you, they ain't proud of you, motherfucker. They ain't proud of you if you ain't proud of you. And too many people out here falling victim to the bitch shit I used to fall victim to. The laziness, the pleasure seeking, the easy money, thinking that kicking your feet up was the life. Work instills the worth, true work. Work worth doing, where you get results, where you push your people forward, where you're their motivator. I did this in the pen. I picked those dudes up. They were fucking just straight at the bottom. And I gave them purpose back, gave them their lives back, instilled worth back in them through the work, the shit that's hard for you. If getting a six pack's hard for you, that's what you must do. I know motherfuckers who make millions and they say getting a six pack is way harder than that. Whatever's hardest for you, motherfucker, that's what's hard. So guess what we're doing? We're gonna do it all, cause it's all hardest. We're gonna do it all. We're gonna be that kind man, that financially responsible man, that fit man, that man who gets inconvenienced by people even though he puts his heart into everything and he still doesn't crack. He knows who he is. He knows who he wants to be. He knows his character. He knows his path and he sticks to it because he ain't about himself. He's always screaming, fuck me, fuck me. That was the most powerful thing that I learned. Fuck you, Wes, fuck what you want. Do this for everybody else. Wake up for your future son. Wake up for your son and your wife now that you got him after you cried for him for so long. How many people cried for something for so long and then when they got it, they forgot that they prayed for that shit their whole life and started not appreciating it. Not being grateful for what they've been given. You know what? Discomfort, lack of connection to your life, all these negative mental states are a lack of gratitude. Because they're just notifications to preserve yourself. Like I say, notification for self-preservation. Being depressed is ungrateful. Being anxious is ungrateful. Being fat is ungrateful. Being broke is ungrateful. All these things are because you aren't serving anybody but yourself. Depression, most selfish self-talk known to man. I don't feel good. I don't feel this. I want this. Oh my God. Everything's about it. A depressed person's self-talk is so selfish, it's sickening. If they just got up and did stuff for other people all day, they wouldn't even have the energy to be so fucking selfish and run themselves in the ground with what they call some shit called depression. Next time you're depressed, just get up and do something for someone else. Even if that getting up and doing something means making yourself the best product to serve everybody better. Because growth means that we don't fucking trip on us. We're working on the best us, and that takes sacrifice, that takes discipline, that takes commitment, that takes long view. And if we're working on the best us, we're doing that to serve everybody around us. 
fact is all these things, anxiousness, that means they're just fucking going in the future about shit, making up scenarios that aren't going to happen instead of getting to work, getting to work for their people now. How many people call it anxiety and just didn't even get to work today? Imagine if you just got up and said, I ain't got no fucking choice. I got to feed my fucking family and I got to do it at a high level. Imagine that. Fat people. Oh, fuck. You don't have to be fat. That's a fucking choice. And if you're sitting there with low vibration, low energy, making your people, making your people uncomfortable because you choose to eat a bunch of fucking snacks. Oh, here comes dad rolling up in a fucking shot out beater, shot the fuck out, kids embarrassed, hoping that dad would pick him up around the block. But dad wants to pick him up right in front of school. Fuck that. Saw that my whole life was like. Shit, that must be embarrassing for that kid. And guess what? He was embarrassed. Make sure your kids aren't fucking embarrassed of you. And want to know when they're not embarrassed of you? You want to know when they're not embarrassed of you? When you're fucking not. When you're killing it. When you're leveling up. This is what I'm trying to teach is honesty. The path is just honesty. It's just fucking honesty. Be honest. Be honest. Don't be biased to yourself and your situation. Be fucking honest. And then acquire what you fucking admire. Let's go. So to personify the teaching means moment by moment. Coming from one task to another. Flow state to flow state. Presence to presence. Even, especially in the most difficult moments. Because that pain teaches us. I learned everything from those painful moments. How to act. How to react how to stop and be present, learn the lesson. There's too much to be learned right there. So many just want the system. They want the system that works. They want to gain some career that pushes them forward. The only career you have in this life is to heal what ails you internally. That real pain you have inside of you, heal that and then gift it to others. So like I've said, our life's purpose, yours and mine, is to create the man you admire in every way, unbiasedly, the man you admire in every way so that you can just give him away, give him to the world. Because just filling your tank is pure selfishness that leads to nothing. You want to make a billion dollars Help a billion people. And it's not about money at that point. You'll realize none of this is. You're gifting what cured your pain. You're gifting to the world the answers you found on your journey. Otherwise known as the hero's journey. This is all we're after. Like I said, hypothetical is motherfucking hypocritical. And it makes me sick. You guys are falling victim to false teachers. With false teachings. They don't live them. Look at him. If that dude knew that so well, why is he there? To know what not to do is not to know. Only listen to those that are in the position you want to be in. Those are your teachers. And when you're ready to learn, a teacher will appear. When you're ready for growth, you will look in that mirror. You will tell yourself what's wrong with you and what needs to be changed. I changed my entire life in this manner. I was the exact opposite of everything I teach you guys. And I find out, found out that that was fucking bullshit. Straight up bullshit. Yes. Yes, I learned the wrong way. Yes, I thought that was my path. I thought my path was to capitalize and be violent and just get it. Get it however I could. A lot of people still think that way. It's foolish. It'll end, with no, it'll end in nothing but pain. But the pain teaches, so is that your route? Maybe, unless you listen to someone who's been there and can steer you away from this fucking bullshit. Staying present and finding yourself needs a plan. It needs a process. And this is what I teach. And it's no different than what people have been teaching since the dawn of time, all the way back to Marcus Aurelius. The same shit. I didn't even study Stoic philosophies in the pen. Didn't even know about them. In the penitentiary, you're just living in that manner. It's prison fucking politics that match up with stoic philosophies. It's not about you. It's about us as a whole. You get up. You reflect upon yourself and your life. 
You're not told to reflect. But when you're in fucking pain and you're suffering, and then when you learn to be grateful, when you truly learn to be grateful at the bottom, then you can be grateful at the top. And trust me, it's still a struggle. Growth is when we constantly look at what we're doing wrong. That's how we change. Anything else is that victim mindset. The people around you notice your energy so that no words are needed. They'll ask you. They'll ask you when they see the results you're getting. When they feel the energy you have, the change within you, the true change. All the acts that you're partaking in that you regret. You're partaking in those acts during moments of pain and weakness. Overeating, drinking, drug consumption, anger. This is what's happening when you're feeling weak. Let's strengthen you. Let's strengthen you daily so you don't feel weak. And during those moments, you make the right decision because you're strong enough to make it from the very bottom to the top because it works. Because it works. You have to work. You have to earn it. None of this is free. Let's go. I fucking relapse. Growth is not linear. Nobody just goes straight to the top upward trajectory. It doesn't happen. Nobody. We all think we're gonna, but it's about how you get the fuck back up. Get the fuck back up. So every time I fell, every time I got back up, like every morning I get back up. I don't give a fuck if I get two hours of sleep. I'm getting up. It's just that fucking feeling that Nothing can stop you. It's your choice. You're not a victim. Yes, there's a downturn sometimes. There's winning and there's losing seasons. Every loss is a chance for an exponential gain. Just by contrast alone. That you knew the bottom. So the top is that much more sweet. A spoiled ass bitch that nobody respects. He don't even know how sweet the top is. Because he always was right there. He doesn't know the bottom. He don't know the gutter. We were in the gutter, still looking at the stars like, bam, that's going to be me, motherfucker. And then we worked every day for it. Drop all that shit. Do it for them. And then once you start to build that self-love in you, you just, it changes your entire life. You respect yourself. You feel fucking great from your actions each day. You stack these wins. It gets easier and easier and easier till you have a plate full of variables that would blow people's minds and you're crushing life. You start with one step. I'm waking up at this time. Make it non-negotiable. Then you go into your reading and your journaling. Make it non-negotiable. Reading and journaling with the intent to distribute because you're not selfish. Oh, I gained this knowledge today from this book. Let me share it with you. Let me share it. It did so much for me, this quote. Then we go into the training. Training is pure flow state. I've never heard of someone running a marathon saying, I'm anxious. I'm depressed in the middle. I've never heard of someone smashing out a set of squats being like, oh, I'm, I'm depressed in the middle. You're in complete flow state. You're in the zone. You're in the zone. And if you're not in the zone, you get to hear yourself talk. You get to see who you are right there. Are you a complainer in the middle of that set when the adversity gets thick? Are you a bitch? Or are you that motherfucker who's saying more, more, more? Sacrifice creates paradise. I love this. What a sublime feeling it is to suffer, to suffer with a smile on your motherfucking face. Ooh, selfless service is all that works. Giving what you found in that pain zone to cure others. We're only here to cure our pain and others' pain. The other shit is a facade put on by society that people fall for. When you learn to see everything as a win, when you learn to see everything as a win, it's all yours. I know you guys got it in you. Fight for it. Realize that sacrifice creates paradise and that perpetual pleasure chasing will only lead to a massive amount of pain. I love you guys. Everybody who's following in this manner, I'm so proud of you. Let's go. But when that person is reflective instead of reactive in the moment, I know they're seeing the benefit, the long-term benefit of these daily sacrifices. Sacrifice creates paradise. Sacrifice creates paradise. When you learn to sacrifice today, 
What you want, instant gratification-wise, what you want today for what you really want tomorrow, this is how we pursue these massive goals. Your vision should be pulling you. Your vision's driving you. Your vision is not optional. Your vision is a message from the universe. It's given to you. It's your genius. Be a fucking pro. Stick to your fucking goals like it's nothing else. How the fuck do you think you get from point A to point B in the gutter? I was in the gutter, but I always, I always lived in a voyeuristic manner, watching my life unfold, watching my movie trailer, watching my story being written and being that author that knew he held the pen. Nobody can hold you down. Nobody, nothing, no situation. That's for victims. We get up and we go, let's get it. Yeah, yeah. Getting what you want, that's riches, but to be able to do without, like I did for 10 fucking years, is power. That's power. So I'm teaching you to remove from your life, to take away, take away that extra sleep, take away that extra food, take away that extra rest and see how alive you feel. When you're close to death, close to tapping, close to giving up and you choose not to motherfucker, that's when you're most alive. That's when we're most alive. That's when we're most alive. Feeling it. I love waking up hard. I love waking up hard. Harder the better because I get to see who I am. Difficulties show a motherfucker who they are. Difficulties are things that show a motherfucker who he is. I love seeing who I am. Let's test this motherfucker today. Let's see what Wes is all about, motherfucker. You're getting in your own fucking way. So it's about mindset, structure, thinking about everything correctly so that we can have the framework, have the core beliefs, and yes, the detailed program to follow through. You can know all the shit in the fucking world, but if you don't do it, you don't know it. To know and not to do is not to know, motherfucker shit. I'm always tripping on these know-it-alls who ain't showing nothing at all. I'm like, wait, I love it. I wait for that know-it-all motherfucker who ain't got shit to start talking. I'm waiting. And I'm like, where's it at, homie? Where's it? You're talking discipline. Where's it at? What's up? Where are you at? You mean you don't want this thing that's obvious that you don't got it? Why are you talking, baby girl? Let's see what you got. We'll start tomorrow. I'll go with you. I'll be right there. I'll be your biggest advocate. When you start to fail, I'll pick you up, motherfucker. You ready? You ready? I know. I can see right into your fucking heart and your soul. And I can see what you really want. I can guide you there. I'll get you there. We will get there. Because we don't got no other choice. To live out your vision. To manifest what you see yourself as at your highest potential. That's your purpose on this planet. That's how you get to live the life that you're destined to live is to not fall victim to the desires that take you away from that ultimate vision. No matter what the fuck it takes. If it's being a doctor, do it. If it's being a fucking ripped ass motherfucker, do it. If it's an entrepreneur on something that people aren't believing in and shutting down your dream, do it. You gotta fucking push forward because we're building. We're building. We're building that motherfucker whose level of personal development is never, never extinguished. Doesn't matter the task. 10 years, got it. What's up? This new task, this entrepreneurship, got it. This fucking workout, got it. Anything in my way, got it. Biting my tongue when a motherfucker saying shit, no problem, ain't shit to me. I don't listen to motherfuckers out of respect anyways. Boom, always got a core belief, a gem, something to lock me out of any fucking actions that I could partake in that aren't gonna serve my end outcome. If they don't serve my family, if they don't serve my people, my wife, my son, my mother, my father, my fucking people, I ain't partaking in it. It ain't for me. Just looking at them like a fucking bitch. Wash your hands clean of everything you call a fucking problem. Who died? Who got life, motherfucker? And if someone died, honor them. And if someone got life, be there for them. If it's you, done. Handle business. Can you do 10? This is a serious question. Can you do 10? 10 seconds in cuffs, 10 minutes in the back of a car, 10 days in that holding tank, 10 weeks 
and GP as you first roll up, 10 months before they release you, or 10 fucking years like I grinded through. Can you do 10? What 10 do you crack at? The fact is you gotta learn to never crack. We ain't never bended. I was falling victim to those negative mindsets that couldn't get you out of bed. You couldn't push forward. Couldn't even take another breath. Every thought was filled with negativity and negative points of views. Until I met this morning process, this program that would cure everything that ailed me internally. If you need an accountability group, seek it. If you need to hop on a program, do it. Whatever you need to do to stick to a daily process that's consistent, that levels you, that holds you to your highest potential. You have to make your fucking self fucking proud every day. If you don't, you'll feel worthless. The work instills the worth. There's one simple rule. If we wish to draw others to a more positive life, bring to light how they should be living, and that rule is to personify the teaching. If you personify the teaching, others will wish to learn. They'll come to you. You shouldn't have to go kicking people's doors down for them to want to initiate positive growth in their life. They'll be sick of where they're at and they'll see where you're at. They'll connect the dots and they'll come to you. One of the biggest mistakes is people forcing their growth level on others around them. But the fact is, is a great leader teaches through inspiration. There's two ways to lead. Everybody knows this. There's two ways to lead. One way is through manipulation, which is the main factor of leading in the penitentiary. The other is through inspiration. Fact is, results, follow through, action is everything. Don't give a fuck how good you are in thought if you ain't pulling it off in action, motherfucker. One foot in front of the other. You have to fight through that hump. You have to fight through the beginning. Everything is hard at the start, but we don't even use that word. It's just what must be done. This is what must be done. Your actions are on autopilot. So all day long, you're solidifying your thoughts and your energy in alignment with the outcome you want. The actions take care of themselves. You know what the fuck you gotta eat you know what time you gotta get the fuck up. You know you gotta go to work and kill it at this task until a year later you're crushing it. Four years at your fucking job, you should own the place. You should know how well this company works because the way you do anything is the way you do everything and you're a high level motherfucker that you see the ins and outs. So as I'm walking up, one of the dudes that works with him, a younger cat, goes, hey Watson, come here. Come here, Watson, come here. What's up, sir? How you doing? How's your day going? Look, stand right here. I stand right there. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. And he goes, your celly has walked around this corner every day for the past 14 years. He's about to walk around it right now. Watch, 2 p.m. First dude walking around the corner. We wait for a second. Bam! Big old whip, Yosemite Sam looking motherfucker. My homeboy Jammer comes walking around the corner. And he said, if you understand that, you'll be successful the rest of your life. I had to acquire that mindset. It was so powerful. You guys need mentors to expedite the process. If you see something in someone... You acquire those traits, make yourself part of them, pull together all the traits you admire from the motherfuckers you come across in your life, and that's how you make you, motherfucker. That's how you make the individual you're proud of, that you're proud of. I've seen this happen so many times in the pen. Didn't like everybody's get down. It's not even possible. So the few people I did come across I would acquire that, apply it to my life without fail, make it become part of me, live it.
Everything in this life is what it means to you, motherfucker. And you got to step up and create everything you want in this life from nothing. When you see someone fully slung, fully jacked, fully committed, fully preaching change, that guy's been there. That guy don't want the negative shit for you. That guy only wants the positive shit for you. Be that guy. Anything you acquire in this life, anything you fucking admire in this life, do that. Be that. You finally will start to operate from abundance when you step into that mindset of none of this is about you. None of this is about you, motherfucker. None of it. The fact is, if you wake up, the easiest way to enter that abundant mindset is to wake up and the first thing you tell yourself and you repeat in your head throughout the day is how can I best serve everybody today? Instead of, I need this, I want this. This is where all the problems come from. You'll never be fulfilled if you fucking think like that. If you think, how can I best serve everybody today? You will operate from complete abundance. The person who serves others even when inconvenienced, especially when inconvenienced. Lately, I've been initiating that inconvenience factor into my growth and saying, that's who I am. Who I really am, my level of growth is when I'm inconvenienced, how I react, how my self-talk is, how my subconscious thoughts are, and how my energy is at that moment when I'm inconvenienced. So I turn the time around then to really set myself straight. I serve them daily. I was on autopilot. The man who wakes up to serve others, that's extreme confidence. He knows he's got it. He knows he's got it under control. So he has plenty of time for others. Those bitches who say, oh, I keep negative people out of my life. Those fucking idiots don't realize that they're operating from scarcity at that moment by staying away from negative people. Just don't let them drain you. Don't fall victim to it. That's your choice. You can choose to build them. You don't have to let their thoughts and their actions and shit drain you. In all reality, if you were to still work on them, you could be telling yourself, I'm drained by nobody. No pussy ass, bitch ass situation in this motherfucker drains me. So we go against these hard tasks. We don't run from negativity. We use it as a stepping stone. We don't avoid anything because we're operating out of abundance. We got too little sleep that night. Good. I'm so mentally strong. It can't fuck with me. I mean, obviously we don't purposely fuck ourselves over, but if situations don't ar arise that aren't favorable, we don't fucking tap. We use that as a stepping stone to our next level. Good. I've done more with less motherfucker. Yes. That's the, that's the mindset of the fucking person who won't be defeated. The person who sees everything as a win. So wake up, do me a favor. If you're having trouble being grateful, if you're having trouble with that selfish self-talk, always needing shit, just do this. Wake up and think, how can I best serve everybody today? Serve yourself in the, in the ways that count personal development, exercise, diet, reading positive shit. This is how you serve yourself. You need nothing more. So anything more than that would cease to suffice. It's not gonna work for you because we don't need anything more than that. Food, water, basic needs, positivity, good energy, inner peace, cultivated flow state. This is what we need. We need this to be happy. Everything else is a facade. So cultivate this. Give yourself this. Serve yourself first so you can serve everybody else better. Wake up, serve yourself in the morning, and then distribute your best self to everybody else the rest of the day. I love you guys. Let's get it. But this is what it's all about is continuing learning. All these steps, everything that I'm giving you. Apply them, bring them together. Formulate your own pattern of thought. Habitually construct the mind that works for you. The person who operates from abundance is like, I got you. Like, I'm cool. If you, re if you finally realize that you don't need much and you got time for people and you got energy for people, that means you don't have a deficit in that area. The people who have to get rid of, rid of negativity, they have to remove negative people. They're operating from scarcity. If negative people around me, they don't affect me. I have abundant positive energy. Some negative motherfucker don't take me down. I bring him up. That's abundance. I don't let him fucking drag me down. Oh, your negativity is really wearing on me. I got energy to spare. And when you think that way, that you have something to spare and it doesn't phase you, this is abundance. You got time to spare. You got energy to spare.
So if you understand systems like I do, well, then it would just make sense that you could get ripped, rich, and control your emotions at a high level, thus leading to a, a massive understanding of self and self-mastery being the key at the end of this. Mastery of self, because you fully get it. You fully get it, your steps. Everything you're doing each day, your actions are putting you exactly where you are. There's no blame game. So you seek to understand the knowledge. You increase your capacity for fucking being able to implement this in your daily life. And then you make a system. You don't rise to your goals. You fall to the strength of your system. Once your system is dialed, you're like this. Family, fitness, finance. You're like this. Mind, body, soul. You can look at it any, any fucking way. The morning for me is personal development. The second part of the day is business and the later half of the day is family. But I can intermingle all this stuff if I have to, but it's better to, it's better to separate it so you can have singular focus in each area. So that's why you get up so fucking early because your family's sleeping anyways. So you can work on yourself at that time through your personal development process, which is waking up early because that's gratitude. Going straight into some reading and journaling with the intent to distribute because we can't take wisdom from the universe and not give it back. And then we have to go straight into our workout. That's the rate of vibration increase, the PMA gathering. And then we go straight into our macros all day, which is baseline discipline increase. Discipline being the main precursor for success across the board. Being able to choose a positive thought, positive action over a negative thought or negative action is purely discipline. Like Viktor Frankl said, the space between stimulus and response is where we're most powerful. When I fucking was seemingly supposed to be at the most miserable time of my life, in the most miserable negative place, I would envision people all around the world that didn't have, a, didn't have a shelter. They didn't have three trays. They were starving, they were hungry, they were on the streets, and I would send all my strength to them. Cause I had plenty. That's what abundance is. It's not about, oh, I'm pillaging the world so great right now, I can be a philanthropist. It's about giving and not expecting anything in return. Giving when you're still at your lowest fucking point. Giving what's most important to you. To raise your rate of vibration, you give what's most important to you. Giving someone your time. Giving someone your energy, which is our most valuable resource. This raises our rate of vibration more than anything. And at that low, sitting in the shoe, meditating, Imagining my strength and my love and everything that I built within as a vapor leaving my body. Leaving my body and entering someone who was less fortunate, less strong at the time. And just inflicting all that fucking, just giving them all my strength so they could fight the demons that they had inside that I knew all too well. That I fucking conquered. So now we're coming across what's your life purpose is, motherfucker. Your fucking life purpose is to cure what's most painful for you without pointing the fucking finger. Bitches point the finger. Bitches. Nobody got you where you're at but you pussy punk motherfuckers. That's it. So curing where you got yourself, that pain inside you is the prerequisite to living out your life purpose. Curing that pain and then teaching people to cure it in themselves. I don't give a fuck how much money you got. I've had horrible days up here. Top of the building, smashing it. Supposed dope ass looking life on Instagram. Horrible days, horrible. Because everything around me wasn't structured correctly. People were falling victim to negative energy, substances, the world falling around, the, the circumstances of the world caving them. That's why non-negotiable tasks are fucking everything. They keep us from caving. They structure our core beliefs so fucking significant, so strong in our mind, that when we're about to crack, we realize what the fuck we've been telling ourselves the whole time, and our integrity is paramount at that moment. Saving us from that bitch-ass regret that's coming the next day, pussy. That bitch-ass regret's coming the next day, you fucking pussy. Wanna know how I got past all this? Cause I was the biggest Fucking pussy. Relapsing in the pen like I said on the last video. Sip of some pruno. Hit that fucking bump of that white. Walk around like a fucking weirdo. If I saw my old self right now, I'd be like, look at this fucking weirdo. Fucking weird ass motherfucker. Walking around the pen, sipping pruno, doing fucking speed like he's fucking doing some shit. Stupid. The man, the man who's grateful. He goes to bed early to get up and create 
the best version of himself every fucking day. That's his fucking goal in life to push himself and his family forward. Fuck what he fucking feels like doing. Your self-talk shot. Even though you're there every day, you're talking yourself like a bitch, talking yourself out of it while you're working out. Oh, this is hard. I don't even like this shit. While you're eating some food that's healthy for you, that's going to give you that best look, best feeling, most confidence, and you can fucking pull the best life from it. You just, I don't like this. I don't like this shit. Selfish, pussy, bitch ass self-talk is the reason you guys are negotiating with your best self. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. I don't want to see anyone be less of themselves for one reason. I know what it felt like to be less of myself. And that was a snowball effect. It got worse and worse and worse. And then I landed, landed in the pen and thought I was at rock bottom. Then I was in the shoe at rock bottom. Then I was a dope in the pen at rock bottom. Then I was looking at a life sentence. Rock bottom. How many fucking rock bottoms did you have to hit, Wes, before you finally started realizing that your self-talk, your daily actions are creating your strengths and your weaknesses, that your habits are determining your future. I'm that motherfucker who just chooses his habits so wisely because if you showed me your habits right now, I could tell you your fucking future, motherfucker. You don't have to fucking be a fucking mind reader in this fucking planet to understand that if you're making certain choices, you're gonna go a certain fucking way. Too many pussy ass adults making other motherfuckers pick up their slack. Be a fucking asset. Asset. Straight up. No, I got this. I take pride in it. My fucking name's on it. I gotta keep saying it. I gotta keep saying it. Your path, your purpose will become crystal clear when you trust your vision. This is what it takes. I need to smash this in your fucking heads that your vision is non-negotiable. That's how you go from having 10 fucking suits three years ago to being able to save lives all around the world, provide an amazing life for your family and crush every goal in your way. I don't care what it is. If you never negotiate with your vision, it's yours. It's yours, motherfucker. That shit's yours. As soon as you fucking make that distinction that your bitch ass is falling victim to your excuses, core beliefs, once you make your daily habits non-negotiable, you need core beliefs. These core beliefs smash all negotiations. I've said it before, but repetition is what you motherfuckers need because you need this when you're about to crack. Thousands of people are about to crack today and I ain't letting it happen. I'm not letting it happen. That's why I get up. I don't get up for me. I don't have to get up that early no more. I don't have to do all that. Raising my baseline discipline, increasing that rate of vibration by selflessly having the intention of lifting up those around me. That's my intention. That's what gets me up. I'm sitting there saying, fuck me. Fuck what I want. I'm a bad motherfucker. I don't need shit. Bitches need shit. Them bitches need everything. Everything around them, they need it. Motherfucker like me don't need shit. Done more with less. Get rid of it. What? Can't take me out. That's how I need you to think. That's how I need you to think. Real man. Real man. Needs to get the fuck up early. Make his day. These motherfuckers are sleeping like they're rich. And we're up early like we're broke, motherfucker. What? We don't give a fuck because we go to fucking raise ourselves. We know nobody's going to do it for us. Ain't nobody gonna fix you but you, princess. This is the thing. Look in the mirror. Be honest. Growth starts when you call your bitch ass self out. When you start to call yourself out, now you're knee deep in it. You're right in the thick of it. You're in the mud and you realize you gotta crawl out of it. I did that in the worst of places. I dieted in the worst of places. And the only reason you do it at that point, at that time, is because you need it. And you don't need it for yourself. You need it to lift everybody else. I don't give a fuck about me. I'll handle business. 
I'm well aware of how I get down. But I need to respect those around me. So I need to lift motherfuckers around me. Literally, step the fuck up. It's not too late to be a fucking man. Only thing that's gonna fucking make you a man is your motherfucking conduct, your character, and what you're able to pull off in this life. Nobody gives a fuck about your projected results, motherfucker. What'd you fucking do? And who the fuck did you do it for? And they wonder why they look like fucking shit because that's how life fucking works. There's systems built on sacrifice. And if you don't learn to sacrifice for your goal, plan and prepare, there's the fucking action. And then there's the rest of the, the fucking day preparing for the next day's action. There is no downtime in a go-getter's life. He's either acting or he's fucking preparing. I was always in preparation mode. Even if I was going to post something, I'm writing it down on paper hours, hours, days in advance. This is how we breed the confidence needed. Confidence is just a byproduct of constant implementation. So when we constantly implement these positive habits, we can overtake that draw from the negative habits. All negative desires are simply frustrations of positive desires. That's it. We want to be something more. We're settling for something less. Usually out of what we feel like doing over what we need to fucking be doing. But anyways, I lost it. This was my, this was my second rock bottom. As if getting 10 years in prison isn't rock bottom enough. Trust me, you'll find a way to even hit rock bottom in prison. You guys, you gotta know. It's not over because you relapsed on your diet. Because you relapsed on drugs. I've done it. We've all done it. It's part of the process. It's part of the fucking process. You have to just really see at that point how much you've grown. You have to measure backwards. You have to see that you found a new way of altering your consciousness. That new way is your training, your meditation, your growth processes that make you feel great. There's no downside. Goodness is uneventful. It doesn't flash, it glows. That drinking is a flash. It's a, it's a, it's a fucking massive spike with the downside. We don't even do that. We just live this perpetual incline of success. Getting better daily. I know you guys can do it. I've done it. That's why I don't even get mad at her. I'm like, I'm just here to make sure you're safe. I'm, we're good. I don't even care about drinking. I was way worse than all you guys. That's why I'm the best at this. Because it doesn't phase me. Oh, you did that? Oh, well, that ain't shit. What you think is some violence? What you think is some drinking and drugs? What you think is a slip on? I've done it all. That's what you want is someone who understands and can guide you. The fact is, is that it's just criticism if you can't give the constructive advice to push the person in the right way, the right direction. This is what's needed. You can never give up. You can't tap on your people. You can't tap. You have the reason so many people are out of character is because nobody was strong enough to love them back into character. This is why. This is why I'll get to success with my wife, with her drinking problem. We have to be honest with ourselves and not tell that lie. That fucking lie that fucks your life up. That lie when you're trying to convince your mind of something your heart knows is not true. So when you fuck up, be accountable. Tell the people I love you and I'll do better. Watch me and then do it. And don't fucking do that nobody's perfect shit because motherfuckers can be. It's just a fucking practice trait. And it's not even being per perfect with this other shit. You grow out of that shit. And then you just don't even have to say nobody's perfect because your daily growth process fuels you more than anything you've ever felt in your life. It gives you the such a high when you have seven days of perfect macros, perfect wake-ups, reading everything that just fucking invokes the spirit and just kill those workouts. You're levitating and then you're not breaking character. You're removing all regret from your life. It is the craziest high ever. It's the rate of vibration that I speak about that if you know, that's being high on life. That's what we're supposed to feel. We're supposed to live in that. You guys, if you've relapsed, don't fucking make it worse. Those motherfuckers who get, start a little brush fire and then burn down the whole fucking field, the whole fucking forest fire, starting forest fires out of brush fires. It's fucking bullshit. 
did it my whole life. I do it in small arguments that I could see how I would have diffused them. We need to be smarter and look at the end intention and always keep our acts in congruence with our optimal outcome. You guys stay strong. This is fucking hard on everybody. Everybody's tripping on this Corona shit. If you say you're not, you may just not notice that you ain't missing too much, but shit's different. When shit's different, we act and feel different. And a lot of, like I said in the last video, top motherfuckers, top motherfuckers that I know are going through it. So you're not alone. My wife, I never give up, never. And this is what it comes down to. If you've made that mistake, how can you not forgive the next person for it? Surely it's greater to forgive and remember then forgive and forget. Learn, move on, gain the wisdom, and fucking win. I have never, never heard of a man in the middle of 200 burpees, a man in the middle of a marathon, a man in the middle of a crazy workout say, I have anxiety right now. Oh, just literally, every time you think you have anxiety, scratch that, scratch that out, and just call it energy. Just say, I have energy. And then go use it. Go use that energy. You're meant to move. You're meant to get up and go straight into flow state. I'm gonna say this so fucking much because we gain strength through repetition. When we continually tell ourselves this, this is how we build those core beliefs that smash all negotiations. That's why you have trouble. That's why you quit on all your goals and all your shit. Because you don't have strong enough core beliefs. You end up following somebody else's. I need to show him that if he gets up again, and he gets up again, and he gets up again, that he can cure himself any day he chooses. Fuck! Don't you ever believe that you're not supremely powerful. You are. You are. I've been so low and chose to pick myself up so many times. And I need you to know that you can surpass anything that you've seen done if you just never fucking quit. Never, never. I never missed an upload. Never. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, all year, 8 a.m. Never missed it because I attached myself to that one dude who knows the pain I knew in the pen where I was dying. I felt it in the pit of my stomach. I couldn't quit choking back the tears. I just miss my mom. He may have lost his and he needs that strength to get up today. So I'm getting up for him. I'm uploading a video for him. Motherfuckers who don't know pain don't need to know this channel. This channel's for those that know true pain and they're true soldiers. Those are the ones who change this world. The ones that know true pain and choose to smile. Choose strength. They choose that purpose over pleasure. They choose to walk the extra mile. They choose to never put themselves back in that position. And they choose to say, fuck this. It ain't about me. None of this is that selfless leader that a man has to be. That gives me more power than anything on this planet. Knowing, knowing that I ain't tapping. I ain't tapping because of you. You watch my Instagram story. You know I'm up at 245 and that's for you. It makes me so proud to know that we can document this stuff. Someone else can see it. They can apply it to their life and they can get over all this bullshit they've been fed since they were kids that they need this medication or they should go out and party and forget about it. No, you're stronger than that. It's surely, it's surely greater to forgive and remember than to forgive and forget. Don't just try to go consume those vices to step away from your pain, whether it's an actual event, whether it's depression, anxiety, a low point in your life, your business, your relationship. In the penitentiary, your program is non-negotiable. It's non-negotiable. That's why it's a level up. Those days you didn't want to get up 
and you still got up. Those days you didn't want to work out and you still worked out. This is how you level up. Your level up is going to be very uncomfortable and very inconvenient. That's how you know it's working. Exactly when that excuse is coming into your mind and you crush it. You crush it with action. In this life, work is not a man's punishment as much as you bitches think it is. You fucking bitches are thinking that work is some type of punishment. Work is a man's gift. It's his reward and it's his sense of strength. He builds everything he's supposed to be with that work. It instills the work. It's some fucking small adjustments to your life. Your life is not food, motherfucker. Your life is not sitting on your fucking ass, motherfucker. When you want to really feel what a man should be, you go work for that shit. But we know, we know that success, true success, is a byproduct of personal development. Success is something we attract by the person we've become. It's not a fucking psychological disorder. Yeah, you've habitually ran to what's easiest your whole life. So how do we unmake that? We run to what's hard. Whenever we're feeling weak, we run to what's hardest for us, to strengthen us, instead of the easy fucking route that takes away from us. I want all this for you guys so bad. I wanted it for the guys in there. I put my ass on the line for those guys in there as well as I do out here. The people who tell you the hard truths, those are your fucking friends. The comfortable lies ain't working for them. Is that what you want? Do you really want your people to lie to you and say they're okay with where you're at, how you look, financially, physically? Is that what you want? I don't want my people to ever fucking lie to me. I want my son to look at me like I'm a fucking superhero and I want my wife to look at me like, damn, damn my husband. Look at that motherfucker. Did you see him? Did you see that motherfucker? And I want to look at her the same fucking way. Is that the, do you guys want to live lies? Do you want to live a fucking lie before you just work to create what you're proud of? I love telling the truth. I love telling the truth when a pop bellied pig ass pussy motherfucker standing there and I get to fucking tell him. And then I love telling that motherfucker 90 days later that you are the strongest man I've ever met that you got ripped that quick, you're the shit, you're gonna crush life, I love you. How long are you gonna wait? I'm telling you what works. It's action. Stop trying to solve life's problems in a negative mindset. Stop deciphering life's problems in a negative mindset. Flip your mindset with positive action. Even if it's 200 push-ups, even if you can only do 50, Get that blood flowing. It's built inside you to flip your mindset with positive action. Positive thought can never trump negative thought. Only positive action can trump negative thought. We all have negative thoughts. These negative thoughts are put inside of us through creation. The universe is sending you these signals to keep you moving. Like I've said, they're notifications for self-preservation. That's it. As soon as that negative window opens, shut the window with action. Don't let it exist too long. The longer you keep that window open, the more it becomes your personality. You will habitually construct a subconscious that jumps straight to negativity instead of straight towards positive solutions. Positive thoughts, positive actions, positive affirmations. You can heighten your vibration through these, these activities. It must be done, I'll keep preaching it. This is what will work, quit looking anywhere else. Quit looking anywhere else, look right to the floor. That's what's gonna get it for you. I'm gonna keep preaching it to you guys. I'm gonna keep preaching it. This is what works. Action, action alleviates anxiety. Action does, stop trying to decipher your negative life's, your life's problems in a negative mindset. We wake up, positive affirmations, positive reading, straight into a workout, use up that energy, and then eating clean the rest of the day. That's eight fucking wins a day. Eight wins a day right there. We have to earn this shit. What else is gonna work? What the fuck else do you think's gonna work? It ain't gonna be a new job. It ain't gonna be some money. It ain't gonna be a new chick. You have to love you. Your perception of me is a reflection of you. I keep saying that. 
Because if you're seeing the world negative, it's because you're treating your world negative. If you treat your world positive, you'll see positivity in the world. If you get wins all day, you'll see winners all around you. If you love yourself deeply, you'll have deep love for everybody around you. Step the fuck up and listen to someone who's been through massive lockdowns, massive trauma, and came through it with five fucking colors. So I want you guys to start applying it now. So if anything bad happens in life, like a future crazy lockdowns, you know how to take care of yourself. You know how to take care of yourself by building that self-worth. Self-worth is instilled in you by the actions you partake in. If you wanna respect yourself, your actions have to be dis, your actions have to be respectable. How the fuck does a motherfucker think he's gonna have disrespectful actions towards his ultimate goal and feel respected? How the fuck is a motherfucker gonna have a promise and a goal for himself the next day, not follow through and not feel like he's broken the promise to himself and disrespect himself? Everything is way fucking easy. I create who I am every day. Ain't nobody going to take that from me. I'm still going to wake up and be me. I'm still going to wake up and test myself. Does it look like I'm stopping, motherfucker? Does it look like I'm stopping? Motherfuckers hate on what they gave up on. If you're a fucking hater, just know it's because you're a bitch. Straight up. That's it. No man should ever have enough time to even do that shit. You hate on what you gave up on. You guys, apply all this shit in these videos. Study these. I'm giving you everything that changed my life. Regardless of what a simple motherfucker thinks, know this, enlightenment is increased suffering. When I tell you, when someone's enlightened, they have just increased their suffering. They took away the shroud. Now they know they can't just go get pleasure by buying it. Now they know they can't just go woof down pancakes without paying for it. They've taken away the facade. Now they gotta fucking own up to every action. They've been enlightened. They know that their thoughts are creating everything. They know that their actions are creating everything. Now they know a lot of pain. The person who's smartest, the person with the most wisdom lives the most painful existence, but guess what comes from pain is Pleasure, motherfucker, when you stack up those big goals and you're able to cure others of their pain by enlightening them. You guys come with me, let's go! And I'm telling you that bad men are full of repentance. When you see a bad man, don't just see a bad man, see his pain, then you'll know him better. I only see people's pain and get through to them a lot better than seeing them for the fake ass hard person they are. It's all fake hard. We're all doing it out of pain. We're all acting that way out of pain. People who really love themselves, they don't operate like that. I've been in that position. And when I got in the mirror and said, you're being a bitch because you're not handling life the right way, Wes, this is how I change. That's why I don't hesitate on calling someone a bitch because I know that they cannot be one in the next 10 fucking seconds if they fucking choose. Everything in this life is serious. Nothing's a tragedy. If you make it a tragedy, you take away your power to change the fucking circumstances. Be smarter. Practice restraint. Know yourself. If you're someone who has to build more confidence, then focus on the stuff that gets you confidence. You don't want to go to the gym, go to the gym. If you don't want to talk out loud, talk out loud more. If, you don't, if you're not as assertive as you need to be, be more assertive. Focus on your weakness. And if you are too assertive, if you are violent, if you do have those tendencies, focus on making daily habits on the other side of your weakness. Daily practices to strengthen your weakness. All my daily practices are about practicing restraint. Learn to make sure you put the work in to be where you wanna be. Structure your daily life and your habits in the fucking manner that gets you and design the future that you want. They get you where you want. This is crazy. I'm watching it all day long. People making up belief systems that defeat them. Structuring thought processes that don't suit their optimal outcome. Pay attention, reflect more. The new man, the new man is capable of it all. He's capable of violence, but he restrains it. He meditates, he reflects, he focuses on his weaknesses. He is the product that he, has, he admires. He admires what he's become.
And then he passes that on. Love you guys. Let's go. We don't waste time. We make sure that everything runs from the optimized system. In this life, if you repetitively do something and your system isn't supporting you, you're a fucking idiot. How the fuck is everybody getting through their day and continually thinking they know what's up when they got a bag of a belly for a gut, they're financially struggling, and their relationships are falling apart? Your system is fucked, homie. Your system's fucked. We don't rise to our goals. We fall to the strength of our fucking system. If anybody I know is having problems in life, it's one of two things. Their personal development process is flawed. They're not adhering to what they need to, to bring themselves up, give themselves strength, respect, love, and everything we create internally, or they're having problems in their personal life. It's only one of two things. What else could it be? People think they're such a fucking mystery. Motherfucker, you feel like shit because you treat yourself like shit. Get up, tell yourself who the fuck you are today. With action, that's who you are. When you continually act in this manner, your self-talk gets in alignment with your goals and who you see yourself as as your authentic self. Your authentic self is that highest self. You, when you're jacked, when you're confident, when you're feeling the best, that person I create every day. That person I know I have to create every day. If I don't create that person every day, I'll never be it. We operate from the mode of our higher self. My higher self does the dirty work. I see that dude who's more jacked than I am now, who's more confident than I am now, who's more calm than I am now, more persistent, more patient. That dude that I'm aspiring to be, I'm not him. I'll never be him, never. That's the strength of the pursuit. When you're after something you'll never get with every ounce of heart you got, that's a different individual. Motherfuckers who quit, quitters, which is the most habitual trait known to man, habitually the most common thing is people that have the habit of being a quitting ass bitch. And quitters are the most superficial people on the planet. They weren't doing it for anything other than the fucking result. The result was all that drove them. They didn't even care how good they felt. It's like that dumb bitch ass motherfucker, titty having bitch, who goes to the gym, he feels great as he exit, high fives his buddies, holds the door for everyone, has that bomb ass energy for three to four hours, comes home, his wife feels that life's good, and he's so fucking stupid, he don't show up the next day. Because he looked in the mirror, he got discouraged that he didn't look how he wanted to look because he didn't put in the work he needed to put in to be where the fuck he wanted to be like a fake ass motherfucker. That's the problem with fake ass motherfuckers. They're all shocked because they're not where they at from the work they didn't put in to be where they want to be. A convict operates from a different type of system. Yeah, I'm institutionalized as fuck. Yeah, I used it to my benefit. I used it to my benefit because I see the flaws in systems. Even my system's flawed. It's always changing. No one found the optimal system. We're consistently adding to it and pushing forward us as the human race, evolving us. Some motherfuckers are still living in 1965 by the way they fucking eat, work out, and live. Motherfucker, there's no reason anybody should be overweight except that they're quitting and they're bitches. That's it. There's no excuse. Mistakes. Mistakes. Show me a wise man and I'll show you a man who made the most mistakes. Let me tell you something. I'm trying to cure. I'm trying to stop you from all this unneeded pain. We're trying to heal you before it even starts. You're not going to have enough time in this life to make all these mistakes. So you gotta learn from other peoples. This is how it goes down. The values of a man who develops the individual who cannot be stopped because he takes his pride, he gets all his pride from his conduct. 
The man who takes more pride in the steps it takes to be a man, to get the result, cannot be stopped. The man who takes more pride in the steps it takes to be a man, to get the result, then the result itself, he becomes the result. He is the system. He is the byproduct. Become, motherfucker. Don't live this fake-ass hard life and end up in that movie that you don't like the ending. And you're the main character, motherfucker. Get it done. I want you to wake up with the hardest day possible. Smash every aspect of it and feel that pride I talk about. I want you to look in the mirror and just be like, that motherfucker, that motherfucker can do anything. I love when a motherfucker's pumped on himself. I love when a motherfucker says I can't be stopped. I love when a motherfucker sits there and has a fucking ego on him. I love it because I know it's needed. That needed ego has to be ethical, but it's needed. It's deeply needed. You don't sit there and hesitate. Inaction breeds doubt and fear. That's why we walk right into that motherfucker. It's not a battle with others. The battle's within. When you conquer that shit within, people notice that. They notice that vibe. They notice that ROV, that rate of vibration. They notice your aura. They know this motherfucker ain't gonna go out easy. And that's it. I'm not even talking about fighting. I'm talking about life. I'm talking about higher for attitude, train for skill. We wake up with the non-negotiable aspects of creating the man we fucking admire, we never fucking tap. No program, no person, no place can break you. Only you can break you. That's it. And here they are thinking they're tough. Wanna know what's tough? You wanna know what's tough? Positive change is tough. Being not a statistic is tough. Coming out, turning everything around, 180 degrees is tough. Start today. That's why I love telling them, you're a bitch. You suck, motherfucker. And they're like, oh, Wes, that's really harsh. And I'm like, guess what? Change it. Change that shit. Get the fucking control. Understand that every fucking thing you do is under your control. And you need the only way you're going to find that inner peace. You're going to find that way to happiness and contentment is when you get a goal that commands your thoughts. It liberates your energy and inspires your hopes and dreams. Get this shit the fuck done. That's how you operate in the now. We're only powerful in the moment. I love you guys. Fucking get it. Who but us? Who but us? The ones that were in the gutter and were still looking at the stars. The ones that chose to turn their life around. That's what we're all meant to do in this life. That's all our jobs. Our job is to get handed this trauma, handed this setback, handed this adversity, and overcome it. Then we're supposed to pass on the wisdom we gained from this journey, this journey of curing our pain to those that are still experiencing that same pain. We know all too well. A positive individual is not some happy-go-lucky motherfucker. A positive individual is someone who lived in hell and decided not to exist there anymore. In all reality, that trauma you've experienced is your path. It's the opening to your purpose. When we heal these traumas, heal where this pain came from in our life, our path starts to open up. Unhealed trauma blocks intuition. You will not be able to see anything until you take that first initiative step, which is curing what ails you, so then you can pass it on. What else more do you think you're meant to do in this life other than help others cure their pain? You know how debilitating it is. Everything must be difficult and you have to pride yourself in overcoming the fucking difficulties. If you don't pride yourself in overcoming difficulties, then you're looking for more comfort. Now you're looking for regression. Don't you get it? So the only person that's ever going to win is a motherfucker who takes pride in not being pleased, takes pride in doing what's hardest for him because it means more. Whatever we do that's difficult for us gives us the most pride. I don't care if you got 10 million bucks. I don't care if you got 100. If it's not that hard for you anymore, 
You have to move on to something that's fucking difficult for you. Magnify your weaknesses. Make sure you're not standing on your strengths, looking for that trophy, telling everyone how fucking good you are because you've been sitting on these strengths for 10, 20, fucking 30 years. Magnify those fucking weaknesses, those true weak points, which end up all being internal. They end up all being internal. Magnify those internal weaknesses and level the fuck up. Oh, Wes, you're a little intense. I wonder why. I wonder why. At least I channel that intensity into trying to help. There was a time where the switch flipped and I, I was just, I'll, I'll get stabbed before I stab anyone. I don't want no more of this. I don't want the fucking karmic debt in the internal anguish that's being casted upon me. I don't want that. You don't got a choice though. But this was the words going on in my head. I don't want this no more. I'm better than this. I can do better. I want to make moms proud. This shit's just pure pain. 24 hours a day. Flipping through any book. Flipping through anything. Just finding one word. The glow of one warm thought that could turn my heart around for the day. So I don't die that day of the internal pain I knew so well. You guys turn this shit around. These news reports are just a fraction of what goes on in there. They never really make it out. This shit happens every day. Get out, realize gratitude is action today. Go out today and prove how grateful you are for your life with action. Selfless service of everybody around you. This is how we cultivate that internal feeling of inner peace that you're after. I love you guys. Let's go. Discipline. Everybody wants it. Everybody wants it. You're not going to get it kicking your feet up, having your favorite pastry, reading that sweet little book that puts you in cupcake land in the morning. Discipline comes from living harder. Live harder. That's it. That's it. What's the hardest thing for you to do each day? Do them. Not these foolish motherfuckers who literally make up stuff that's not supporting their goals and call it hard and do it. I'm talking about the simple things, the wake up time, the training, the diet, the key to self mastery is through what we ingest. We gain discipline in these areas and then we transfer them. Why would we not attack the root? The root of the problem is always going to be discipline. You don't got a drug problem, got a discipline problem, homie. You don't got an anger problem, got a discipline problem, homie. This is what it comes down to. So the thing is, what we ingest is the key to self-mastery. The key to self-mastery is through what we ingest. And in the penitentiary, I learned if I limit desires, if I limit food intake, limit all these things that people were chasing, I wouldn't go outside the fence. I wouldn't go into the past. I wouldn't go into the future. I wouldn't crave anything other than what was under my control. And that's the secret fully submersed in the now, fully in control of what's in your control. Pain and sacrifice is the teacher. And when that adversity is real thick, you get to see who the fuck you are, where your self-talk goes, when it gets real difficult. The fact is, this is preparation. Life is coming. Life is coming regardless of if you like it or not. And you're preparing with your thoughts and actions, your self-talk. Your actions are determining your strengths and your weaknesses. Start of this is accountability to action. People hit me up, they're like, hey, I just need a workout, I need accountability, I need to diet, and I need to get rid of this drinking habit. That's the very start of this. Once we put this on autopilot, like I do with all my clients, once we get the actions on autopilot, we graduate very quickly to the thoughts. Now we're on that self-talk. Now we're constructing core beliefs. Now we're stopping ourselves even before we get to that bitch mode where we negotiate and talk ourselves out of the act that gets us where we wanna go. We need to act in this manner. It has to be non-negotiable or we're never gonna graduate to thought. And then you're never gonna graduate to energy. You can't fucking bitch out on what you want. Your vision is not up for debate. It's a calling. It's a calling. 
You don't know where this is leading you. Your vision is leading you further than you could ever imagine. It could take you places you could never fathom. Energy exchanges everything. You're doing it to yourself. Every problem you're having in life is incorrect understanding of rate of vibration and energy exchange. Sit and meditate on that. Every time you're having a problem, did you get what you were asking for? More, more likely than not, everybody always gets what they ask for, whether it's with their energy, their thoughts, or their actions. And once you've transcended all these phases and you're accountable to energy, you will get your outcome and everything you're after in life. I love you guys so much. Stay, stay tapped in. Stay tapped in and fully accountable. Learn, reflect. You will fucking make it to every height you can ever imagine. If once you realize that you're holding your back simply by not speaking the language of the universe, which is energy exchange. Let's go. You have to learn now that when you're bored is when your vices come in. Your weaknesses come in when you don't stick to a non-negotiable program. My program is non-negotiable because it strengthens me. It builds my baseline discipline so that when my weaknesses come, I'm strong enough to say, fuck no, because I've been disciplined since the moment I woke. I was the worst. That's why I know you can be the best. I was the worst. So that's why I know you can be the best. How far I've come? You're going to smash me if you listen to this. You're going to go way past me. This is the reality of it. And it happens often. People die often of boredom and not finding self-respect through a program, not finding self-love through a program. That shit's earned daily. Your self-love, your self-respect is an, an exact exchange to how much you put into yourself today to earn your self-respect and earn your self-love through a process that only your conscience is telling you. Hey, Wes, get up earlier. Hey, Wes, go harder in that workout. Hey, Wes, you shouldn't eat that. When you start on those simple guidelines and then just learn to remove all vices, trust me, I'll change your life with this. And then you come to people like myself and we heighten the variables. We give you more detail. Now we work in the mindset training. Once we got the, the daily program on autopilot, now we go into the deep stuff, the mindset training, the way we're thinking, and now we just can't be stopped. We're living internally and creating the external world, manifesting the external world in the exact exchange of what we see, our vision at its greatest degree. This is how it's done. How do I know? Because I did it all by changing my perspective and changing my mind. Same dude, same intensity, different intention, whole different ball game, you guys. I want you guys to know this. You guys got to stay on this path that I'm preaching. It will work for you. It's difficult, but what's difficult in this life is best for us. When you live hard, life is easy. If you live in a negative household and you choose positivity, you're habitually constructing someone impervious to negativity. If you consistently see negative stuff online and you just don't let it affect you, you choose to not let it affect you, you're creating someone who lives amongst negativity and chooses positivity. This is how we win at all times. It's all a perspective change. You can turn anything into a win. Mindset training is imagining and creating belief systems that assist you in your goals, in the accomplishment of your goals. All too often, everybody's creating the narrative that defeats them. Oh, look at this negative comment from this person. Who gives a fuck? There was 99 positive ones and you chose the one negative one, that's a massive flaw. You're gonna bring that shit home to your kids, to your partner, to everybody. Learn to see the 99 positives. See the fucking bad, see it. But say and react to the good. See the bad, say the good. Be stronger than that. I've fallen victim to this in areas of my life and that's why I notice it. Every piece of wisdom I'm sharing was essentially a massive failure that took place in my life that I was accountable enough to say, I'm doing this, step back and change it. I want you guys to change so bad because when you get this shift in perspective, like so many of you guys have, so many of you guys have, when you get this shift in perspective, everything in your life changes. The world opens up. 
all of a sudden there's just a bunch of opportunities and wins taking place opposed to perceived losses and victimizing. Violence is always going to take place. Negativity is always going to be there. The way that it affects you doesn't have to exist. You guys, if you have violent tendencies, if you have drug problems, if you have a lust for easy money, realize where you're going with it. People don't get away with that shit nowadays, and I don't wish this pain upon nobody. Essentially, what we're supposed to do in this life is heal our traumas, heal our pain, and not pass that on to others. Break the cycle. If you know pain from your lust for easy money that lands you in, the, in jail, lands you in problems, gives you problems in your life, I mean, you could be a drug dealer, a stripper, you could be anyone chasing easy money and having to deal with that karmic debt that ensues upon you because you know it's wrong. The regret that you know is wrong, that's stealing from your life. If you're chasing easy money and it's doing this to you, please stop it. You will cure that trauma. Now you will manifest your future and your destiny because you're no longer putting energy into negative stuff that doesn't suit you. Now, if you have that drug problem, you have to realize us addicts, when we flip these addictions to positive addictions, oh, we're so strong because we're fighting deep emotions. We're getting high to block traumas that we're emotional about. We're pushing those emotions down. When we use those emotions and we use them to motivate ourselves to create that, made that greatest vision we have of our future, we're the most powerful we've ever been at that moment because those emotions are how we tap into our most raw strength. And if you're a violent individual, consistently lashing out and paying karmic debt to where you dwell on what you did for so many hours, so many days, so many years, like I did, you need to stop. It's as simple as the golden rule, which has been taught in every religion, every culture from the dawn of time. My life is very good now because I've created someone whose character is in line with his optimal outcome. I've aligned myself with my authentic self. I'm in alignment with who I wish to be at my highest level. My actions are in alignment. But even when I have the best day out here with the best circumstances, if I choose to break character, I'm right back in that pain. And all I want you guys to do is realize that your goal in this life is to be a healer and not pass on all this pain you know so well. I love you guys. Let's do this. The thing is, is most people are going to sell out for that pleasure. They're going to sell out for the pleasure. A lot of motherfuckers are always saying, oh, when does it get easier? It doesn't get fucking easier. The window will always open. That negotiation will always start. How quick can you shut down the negotiation? How quick can you close the fucking window? That's the power. In all reality, I wait for those days where I can't get up. I'm too fucking sore. I can't fucking move. And I choose to. Those days make me the most proud because I'm about the internal shit. The external shit's easy as fuck. The internal shit is what makes us proud. Through commitment, we we reach fulfillment. Through the, the contrast creates the fulfillment. Like if there was no negativity, positivity wouldn't exist. And these simple bitches are trying to wish away negativity. So in turn, they'll never find the pleasure that comes after pain. You have to live this way. You have to be honest. You're creating a narrative in your head that's not supporting your outcome. I wish this wasn't the way it is. Well, it is, motherfucker. That's how the universe is created, motherfucker. If you try to wish away the way shit works, the universal truths... You can't walk in congruence with the power that comes with them. When you walk in congruence with the power of the universe, you're infinitely powerful. The fact is, it's always going to be a struggle. There's always going to be problems. And there's always going to be motherfuckers choosing to overcome them. And those motherfuckers learn what life's about. Internal assets created. I'm it, motherfucker. Being and becoming over appearing and acquiring. Appearing and acquiring leaves you fucking empty. Being and becoming, you could lose everything externally and still be so fucking proud of yourself. Ain't nobody could tell you nothing. Nobody could tell me shit. I could lose everything today and build it all right back. Like I did, motherfucker. Like I did. Same fucking hard work, same work ethic, same assets, different path, motherfucker. I had to go down the wrong path to find the fucking right one, motherfucker. You can't walk two paths at once, motherfucker. 
Why the fuck is everybody falling victim to this cognitive dissonance? These conflicting belief systems. You're either committed or you're interested, you fucking bitch. This is it. Commit. Realize the power behind your sacrifice. Sacrifice enriches life. Sacrifice creates fucking paradise. Let's go. It just takes honesty. All this just takes honesty. Regret is your guideline. Quit acting like you don't regret certain behavior patterns. Regret is your guideline for removal. What needs to be removed from your life, you will always regret. And guess what? That's not a choice. Regret is not a choice. Regret is sent to you. Regret is sent to you from the universe to tell you, hey, hey, Wes, wake up. If you keep doing this, bad things are going to happen. If you keep doing this, you will not be granted your destiny. Live your life's purpose. Regret is your guideline for removal and living in congruence with your conscience are the daily steps. The universe is a chess game. It's telling you exactly what to do moment by moment so that you end up exactly where you need to be. If you wake up and just listen, then you know the exact moves to make, exact steps to take. Everybody's placating pleasure, so they're being kicked out of their true destiny. Your destiny is everything you're being told from the moment you wake. Are you being told, hey, I should get up earlier. Hey, I should drop these pounds. These are all notifications from above to tell you how to live your best life. The guideline is being handed to you moment by moment. Why are you denying it? That's why people don't ever do anything significant because there's no faith and they don't put the work in. They think life is what they want to do. Well, it's not what I want to do. This isn't what I like. It's your conscience. The conscience is referred to as the authentic voice of God. It's the voice of the universe. I don't care what religion you identify with. I'm telling you, when you learn to live in a conscience congruent manner, you will never fail. You will always end up exactly where you need to be. Everything falls right into place. Yeah, sometimes you're gonna have to pay your dues until you fully feel your passion. Feel what you're meant to be. Feel your destiny. And then sometimes your destiny is just being proud. The internal feelings attached to your daily conduct. What if your destiny and your purpose is just to be a solid human being? That's what I believe. That's why I tell, we're, tell everybody that we are the path. You're creating the per You're developing that person who's just so great at listening to their conscience stepping in alignment with the messages being sent to them from above so that they're exactly where they need to be. What if everybody was walking in alignment with their conscience and we were all meant to be at certain intersections at certain times to pull off certain things to move us as a species forward? That's what I believe. That's why I'm so disciplined. If you lack discipline, it's because you lack emotional attachment to anything greater than yourself. I'm attached to the universe which makes me infinitely powerful when it comes to sticking to my plan because my plan's greater than me. It involves all you guys. It involves the fact that if I sleep in, five people on here will sleep in and then they'll fall off their goals. It'll cause a ripple effect in a negative way and fuck up people in their family. And I don't want to be responsible for that. That's selflessness at the highest degree. I don't want to let anybody down, people I've never even met. So by being your best, by creating the best individual that you can fucking be every day, you're doing the world, the exact service you're meant to, the exact person you're meant to be, the exact service you're meant to bring to the world is just you being your best. And what's the fucking guideline? You regret your conscience, not societal standards. In all reality, society told you you could be lazy and just love yourself. But does your conscience tell you that's the truth? Fuck no, it doesn't. Society told you that... You can just be anything and fucking all this shit without putting in the work. We know that's not the truth. We know it's not. They told you you need all these fucking things that aren't the truth. These pills to fight these, these internal notifications that the universe is sending you. They wanted to drown you out. These notifications are not a detriment. These notifications you're being given are a blessing. They are exactly what you need to walk in alignment with your destiny and create everyone who you're supposed to be. People just drown them out with vices. They're like, 
fuck, I, I know I should be more, but I'm just going to bang this heroin in my arm. I'm just going to take these pills. And then their third eye closes up their attachment to the universe and all their true power washes up. The day I even eat too much, I'm at such a level and I'm so heightened that I understand this shit because I don't take in anything other than clean food, workout and positive affirmations. The key to self mastery is through what we ingest. So I'm very, I'm so strict about what I ingest so that I can see the outcome from the variables I take in and I keep them very simple. So the second I even overconsume food, my third eye closes up. I no longer have that attachment where I'm feeling the universe like I do now that can just bring me to tears and make me never deter from my goals because I see my son's face. I see my dead grandmother. I see everybody that loves me at that moment. It's infinitely powerful. The universe is infinitely powerful. We tap into infinite intelligence through gratitude. Gratitude kicks the door down to infinite intelligence and gratitude is action. You guys must learn to get up and earn. Get up and earn these great feelings. They're not given. And you don't have a bunch of, bunch of mental disorders. That's Big Pharma's agenda. You cure them. You have the cure within you to solve all these issues. And there's so many lost souls in the penitentiary so many lost souls on these streets that don't realize how much power they got inside of them. But that's why I'm coming to say I was in your shoes and I cured it. It took a lot of work, but the work is the gift. How good do you feel after you leave the gym? It's one of the only places on the planet where everybody holds the door open for everybody. Solid energy, positive thoughts. These are the cures. I have a friend who's a doctor. They tried to give him pills to, for his cancer. He cured it with a massively solid diet, positivity, and exercise. In all reality, before they give you those pills, don't they tell you to eat better and exercise? And then you bitch out, won't do the work, and you keep coming in there crying, and they finally hand you the fucking pills? Put your heart into everything, and you'll feel 100. If you want to walk around at 100, you have to put in 100. This is what's so sad is they tell these kids and they tell everybody that society should accept you. Now, is that the truth in your fucking heart? Do you just accept people who don't put the work in when you go to your job? Do you accept that next man who's not putting the work in so you guys can get where you want to go? So why the fuck do you tell your kids that they don't have to to be accepted by their friends? by their family, by everyone. You have to put the work in to make your people fucking proud or else what are we doing? We're making our people, the fat dad who's a bitch and can't just put down the snacks is making his family compromise their integrity. He's making them compromise their integrity by having to fucking lie to his fat ass and tell his fucking ass shit that ain't fucking true. I want my people proud. I don't want to be lied to, so I'm going to fucking make myself proud, and we all know what we admire, so create that motherfucker and give it to the world. I love you guys so much. Let's go. The hardest thing that I know, that I know doesn't come from prison, comes from life. Life, overcoming any pain in life is the hardest that we go through. These are the hardest times that we experience, and when that pain's real, the real ones, the real hard individuals, the people who understand themselves, they use that pain to build their dreams and the fake ones use that pain and reflect it on everyone else around them, shit it on everyone else around them and take away all their power in the process. All your power in this life is gonna come from understanding that pain and correctly distributing it towards growth, towards growth, not being that bitch like them fake hard ones in the pen I talk about, them fake hard ones on the street I talk about where they run to vices. They can't hack it. They can't hack it. They can't show up every day and get that fucking shit and get it, get it. That's it. Mindset training, getting a stronger fucking mindset is about using your imagination to work for you. All too often out here, people just make shit up in their head, believe that shit, and ruin their fucking day with it instead of creating a narrative that worked for them. 
All too, anybody who's just making comparisons in their life is fucking selfish. If you really can sit there and be so selfish, so fucking ego filled that you believe you're the only one who has marital problems, you have fucking money issues, you're the only one with not enough time to pull off your goals, you're fucking delusional. Those are the most common problems on this fucking planet. You gotta get them in line. Your excuses are completely valid. They're 100% valid. But the, the secret behind everything is not falling victim to these excuses. The person who could not fall victim to the excuses that they're making up in their head, their narrative, that's the one that will succeed. That's the one that will succeed. Hire for attitude, train for skill. To where people don't even believe it's possible. So I'm just like, yeah, you don't even believe it's possible, motherfucker. That's the level we're at, where you don't think this is humanly fucking possible, and that's where you should operate at. That's where humans need to go. That's the level of, of evolution that we're after, which is anything that fucking has never been done, we're taking it to that level. Guess what? They don't think it's possible to work out every day, 365 days a year, for 13 years straight. So I'm gonna go 20, and then I'm gonna go 30, and then I'm gonna go 40. It's the rest of my life. When you say, Never again to shit. This is how you program your mind to be unbreakable. Never, never do it again. Never drinking, never smoking, never missing a day at the gym. None of this shit. All the shit that holds you back, all that pleasure chasing, bitch ass, soft ass motherfucking shit that turns a motherfucking soft ass bitch into exactly what he don't want to see in the fucking mirror. Yeah, it's difficult to find contentment during a lockdown. It's difficult to find contentment within. But it's impossible to find it anywhere else, on lockdown or not. Impossible to find contentment anywhere else but within. So I teach the process. I teach the process how to get that intensity, apply it. Apply that compassion to life. Get your self-love. Build yourself up through self-investment. A motherfucker who lets his people fall is a bitch. If you let your wife be overweight and experience that pain over and over daily and you just blame her as the man, you're a fucking bitch. Your capacity for understanding what it takes to develop the person that you admire is so low that the people around you are falling. You're falling. Your people should be raised up and that's how I raise my people up. I raise my people up by heightening their capacity for understanding how all these small daily tasks build them into the person that will be successful in everything they do. Like I've said before, success is a byproduct of personal development. We're only as successful as the person we become. Success is something we attract as the person we become. If you think you can do all this on your own, you're tripping. Humans are created this way. Humans are created to need other humans. We cannot see the problem in the same mindset in which it was created. That's by design. We're an interdependent society. You need an outside facilitator to show you the problem at hand because the mindset in which the problem was created cannot see the issue. So you need someone who's been through it to push you past it. This is in business, life, relationships. That's why there's counselors for everything. That's why we know it works psychologically because we can't see it. We're stuck on the issue and that's because we're meant to help each other. We're meant to help each other. It's the hero's journey. People think they're here to be a, a chiropractor or a personal trainer or any of these things. Yes, that's your career, but you're here to help the next man cure his pain through what you learn in life through the journey you go through, the wisdom you gather to pass that on to the next man. So I was given this prison term, gifted it, gifted this prison term to sit in my pain, heal myself internally and come heal everybody else out here before they have to experience that pain that I knew all too well. And what a piece of shit I would be if I continued to add to it and didn't shine light on the truth that is everything that caused me my pain. From me choosing to be overweight, from me choosing to use drugs and alcohol, from me choosing to build up karmic debt by being a piece of shit. These are the main things. Fucking just seriously magnify everything that causes you regret, remove it, and then clarify your vision. Clarify your vision, sit down and plan with precision. Literally, find someone like myself 
who can increase the, your capacity for knowing your small daily steps. Because in all reality, we know, we know we don't rise to our goals. We fall to the strength of our system. You get the fuck up, that's a win. You go straight in to reading something super positive that puts you right in that mental space you need to be in, that's a win. Then you go right into your workout. You push yourself past what you know is possible. That's a massive win that builds our confidence. And then you go straight into those five to seven wins a day, which are our meals. That's our baseline discipline increase. Five to seven choices a day when we eat and we get to choose purpose over pleasure. Not that pussy ass, perpetual pleasure chasing, placating bullshit that leads to our fucking demise. All that comfort that's killing these pussies out here. These pussies are getting killed out here. Walked by a pussy earlier today. Told me how early he woke up today. Why he was so tired. I said, damn baby girl, I've been up at 245 every day for the past 13 fucking years and I don't never tell myself I'm tired. I never tell myself I'm done and I never tell myself I'm doing too much because guess what? The keys to success, they come from that answer, which is more. The real ones always want more. They see more as more fucking wins, more fucking wins. That's what we're about around here, more wins. We don't even get into that victim, negative, bitch ass mindset. The real power comes from jumping from win to win. The second you're falling victim to your own mindset and you're going negative, the internal dialogue's failing, you're going straight to, you can't pull it off, this is difficult, da da da. You fucking go straight into another win. It doesn't have to be the most massive win. And that's where everybody fucks up. Everybody's fucking thinking that home runs have to be hit all the time. These base hits are everything. These base hits build those internal assets. All these simple bitch ass motherfuckers are dreaming and wishing for discipline. They're dreaming and wishing for mental strength. And I'm telling them it's from all those small steps you're overlooking, baby girl. So get that fucking daily process in line and realize you don't raise to your goals. Your fucking goals fall and your level of strength falls to your personal daily habits and your system. So I create the system that leads you right into your personal self-discovery process. We find your vision and through finding your vision, we find your purpose and we find your purpose. We make sure that the life choices are obvious. This shit's obvious when you found your purpose and your purpose on this planet is to be the best you you can be, motherfucker. And that's what I set out to be for my son, for my wife, for my mother, for my father. Motherfuckers always dreamt of buying their mama house. What stopped them? What stopped them? All the shit that they desired. So what was once the most selfless endeavor that they dreamed of doing was failed. The plan dropped because of what? the snacks they wanted, what they wanted to do with their downtime, everything that took them away from being their best potential, them selfish bitches don't realize that their true power comes from those emotional motivators. That emotional motivation that comes from the look on your wife's face, the look in your son's eyes, the look on your mom's face when they're really proud of you, and there's no guesswork in this life. There's no fucking hiding. When you're proud of yourself, guess what they are too? And when you're not, guess what they aren't either, motherfucker? Because we know, we know, we know the rules which garner respect in this life for us as individuals. They're non-fucking negotiable, just like your daily process has to be. I'm so proud of a motherfucker regardless of where they're at in life. Regardless of where they're at, if they're sticking to it and they never look back, never look back. That's all I know. All I know is the daily process that builds me and grants me my inner peace. Then the byproduct is all that you see happening because so few people are willing to put their whole heart into everything that guess what? When you do, you look around, nobody's around because it's that easy. You just literally don't pay attention to nothing else but your vision and your vision is motivated through these selfless motivators because you're really just all about the security for your family how proud, how fucking just, and how much they admire you, your son, your wife, and your people, how much you fucking give them respect in their heart, and they get to say, that's my dad. Your friends get to say, that's my boy. 
Your wife gets to say, look at my husband because you didn't drop the fucking ball. You quit dropping it. The only reason people drop the ball out here is because they got that baby bitch, soft ass man mentality of, oh, that's not what I want to eat. That's not what I want to do. Fuck, dude. Am I even around that pussy shit for two seconds? I just smell fucking vagina on a fucking bitch. The bitches, straight up. What, what, in what fucking realm, what world, what existence was it ever true that you got to do what you want and get what you want? You got to do what you want, be who you wanted to be. Where the fuck does that exist, bitch? Tell me. Tell me where that exists. It don't exist in the penitentiary because even in the penitentiary, those dope fiend bitches are still dope fiend bitches. And those motherfuckers who operate on a militant structured program who say, I ain't coming back and they choose not to come back. Those are the real ones. Those are the fucking real ones. And everybody will sell you a different fucking story that people give a fuck about those fools who don't give a fuck about themselves. Trust me, everything in this life is equal exchange. When your actions show that you don't give a fuck about yourself or respect yourself, nobody gives a fuck about you or respects you either, motherfucker. So in this life, we either step to the plate daily and create who we are daily with our habits and our actions or we fall victim to that bitch ass shit and turn into those victims who say, oh, prison doesn't rehabilitate anyone. It don't rehabilitate you, motherfucker, because you're a bitch. You're a bitch. When I sat down in time out, I sat down and saw what was wrong with me and what I was doing wrong. I didn't blame nobody and I got my shit together. That's how it works. The second you blame someone, it can't be changed. You put the power in their hands. I like it in mine. I'm in control. I'm the master of my shit. Can't blame nobody at that point. Change, motherfucker. And I never felt good about fights. Whenever I won or lost, I never felt good. You have to realize this. What is a fight? What is a fight? This is someone at the moment that you supposedly don't even have respect for, that you're mad at, that you don't like, and here you are seeking validation from that individual. You're seeking validation from them. You want to beat their ass so that they know you're superior. It's just fucking faulty from the gate. Everything like this. I don't even engage in any sort of debate or argument on social media because I believe you either agree with the person or you keep it pushing. If you have time to sit there and debate or argue with something so on posts or anything like that, you're a fucking stupid motherfucker. Literally, there's no point for that. There's no point. What do you get from it? You can debate that in your head all day, but I don't do it. I don't do it. I sit there. I can learn from afar. If someone makes a good point or they don't, they don't make a good point. I keep it pushing. If they make a good point, I say, oh, I love it. You, you got that. That's gold. That's all that it takes. Nothing else. Anybody who wants to argue is just further solidifying that negative character of they want to argue. They want validation. Anyone arguing with you is seeking validation from you. When we sit there and think and poison our future with the people we're closest with, a lot of people do that in their work environment, at home. They poison the future they have with this individual by sitting there thinking negatively about them hours of each day. And then they construct this person into something they're not. Literally, this is the most flawed shit we can do. We need to use our mind to benefit us. I would always see it happen in the penitentiary with people who just didn't mesh well. And in all reality, you can get your outcome by just finding something positive in this person, building them somehow or using them as the test. The universe is calling you for your level up. So they're putting these people in your path. Your path is to recognize their energy before you even get there and know what they're about that they're about to say or do something stupid and how you're gonna react. So how you're gonna react is one of two ways when you come across somebody who doesn't match your energy. The first way is when you start to evolve, you'll be like, hey, I'm just gonna avoid this person. But when you've made it really far, when you know your triggers, when you know what's coming, you use that person for your next level. Your next level is that you are going to flip that person. They're going through something. They're going through some pain or they wouldn't be acting like that. Let them speak to you. Talk to them. Let them open up. And then flip them. Show them. You can't tell them and yell at them. You got to let them embrace and share with you what they're going through. And then flip them to a positive mindset by, by letting them show their fault. Letting them show their pain. 
In all reality, all states, all internal states, people who don't cure themselves with internal reflection, they hurt others with outward projection. And that's what's going on when people act like this. If you just know that simple quote, internal, if you don't learn to internally reflect, then you will outwardly project. And this goes for all negative states, all negative states. And it goes for all positive ones too. If you internally reflect to make yourself feel so great inside through these acts of these steps of life that increase your rate of vibration, your exercise, your diet, the reading, the positive affirmations, getting rid of negative self-talk, then what you can do is project onto people positivity and energy and just give them all your hope and everything good. You can choose to make your mark on people before you ever even speak to them. It will be your energy that you've been cultivating within. That's how these videos work. I have been stacking wins all day. So I come in and I inject everybody listening to this with the ability to go stack wins. You can't fake that. You are who you are that day. Your energy created that day is what people are feeling from you. And when you've created negative energy habitually over the years and years and years, then it's more likely that you're gonna project that onto somebody else. Don't get rid of all vices, get the clarity in line, make sure your subconscious is getting you where you need to go, whether it's employees, family members, anyone you're around on this lockdown, make sure your subconscious is creating where you want to be, the future you desire, because the actions are gonna ensue. Thoughts create things. If you continually fucking think this way about your partner on a lockdown, you guys aren't gonna make it. Me and my wife have almost not made it through this lockdown. That's being honest. And that's painful as fuck because she's my fucking life. And I don't want to see any of you guys go through this. So please take my advice and make sure that you're 100% truthful with what you want. Because we all know, I've said it before, the biggest problems humans cause themselves is to try to convince their mind of something their heart knows is a lie. If you guys get in an argument today, this week, this month, please skip to the end result and just think what you want. If you want to still be together, then act that way. And if you want them in your life for your future, then think that way. And if you want them in your life for life, then possess the energy of drawing that person in and showing them how loved they are. I want this for you guys. Don't let this lockdown get you into some shit, end you in the pen, end your marriage, all this shit. We're in control. Let's fucking get it. I wish this upon nobody, but if you find yourself in such a situation, you need to realize that there is a sublime feeling attached to suffering in silence. When you learn to suffer in silence, you have understood where true power can come from. In all reality, it truly takes a lot more courage and strength to suffer than to die. So many times along this journey, I just had the thought over and over of, I want to die until I realized that my power came from getting up and choosing to live, choosing life and choosing the thoughts I had. Instead of waking up and saying no, I woke up and said yes, another day, another day to prove to myself exactly who I am. You should never, you should never talk negatively upon one moment of your life or you just poison yourself with that ungrateful mindset. Gratitude opens the door to higher intelligence. And when we get up with a grateful heart and we go straight into everything that's under our power to push ourselves forward, this is where our limitless potential comes from. We go straight into physical activity. We go directly after that into reading something positive and journaling. We start before or after with positivity. I used to wake up and the first thing I did was put something in front of my eyes positive so that I could just structure my mindset for the day. In all reality, every day, all you're doing is living that perfect day out, structuring the absolute most perfect mindset to carry you throughout your day and make sure that you uphold the character and the actions that you want because your habits are what decides your future. Regardless of if you're in a cell, you're on lockdown out here, or you're living normal life, your daily habits will decide your future. So this shit ain't fucking guesswork. There's no guesswork to this life. Show me a man's habits and I'll show you his future. I'm not a fucking mind reader. We all know where certain paths are taking us. And everybody just 
wants that path given to him. The path is earned. The path is illuminated as we walk it. As we earn one step to our path, the wake up, first step, the grateful heart, right into that. Then we earn the next, the next step illuminates along the path of where we're going, our purpose. So many people wake up every day, make up a narrative in their head that destroys them mentally, believe it, and fuck their day off, fuck their mood off, and keep themselves stagnant. And if fucking they're not stagnant, they're fully regressing. If you're foolish enough to believe that one day pain will not exist, if you get the right amount of money, the right job, the right girl, all this, you're fucking tripping. Pain will always exist. Pain must exist. Everything on this planet only exists by contrast. So if you want to unmake pain, well, then you're going to unmake pleasure too. So what you must do is learn to find the utmost pleasure in not being pleased. The utmost pleasure in sacrificing for everything. In all reality, when we fucking give our whole heart to our belief system and we learn to live and give ourselves internally, minus everything, the external world that can fucking literally bring us our false expectations and crush us, get rid of all those false expectations of the external world that I learned in the cell by myself. I knew that if I wanted solutions, if I wanted answers, I had to cure all my external problems with internal solutions. Those internal solutions have been with you since you've been born. We just aren't, we aren't fucking exercising them because society is stealing your power. Society is telling you all these faulty things that aren't you, that don't kill you, that don't cure you. Now you're ready. Now you're ready to live your life purpose, which is be a healer and cure others pain that they know all too well. Everybody has so much pain and the man who doesn't admit it is in the most pain. The man who doesn't admit he's a narcissist is the most narcissistic. We get on here, we get on here and we tell all our issues. We pour it all out there because we really want to change. Accountability is the only way we're ever going to change. And I just want you guys to never feel that pain of waiting by the door. Life is a gratitude test. How grateful are you? Are you only looking at the one thing going wrong in your life and fucking your day off? Or are you looking at the 99 things that are amazing going on in your life that you can use to catapult you to levels of success and just pure inner peace that you've never known? I'm the person who has to really realize that we're gonna fail and it's not completely all or nothing at that moment, even though that has fueled me more than anything, that I do make it life or death. But I do make it life or death in a positive fashion, not that I'm going to just end my life now. People make it life or death in a negative way or a positive way. Make it life or death in the way that I'm going to live this last day as somebody who exit this, exits this planet in an admirable fashion, in an honorable fashion, in a way that people just can look over his grave and say, man, that was a good dude. He taught me a lot. He changed my life in a positive way. Becoming assets. Have you ever given someone their self-confidence back? Truly gave it to them, saw it in their eyes, and had them say, I know you hear this all the time. I know you hear it, but you saved my life. Do you know what that feels like? I do, because I saved my life. And I want you guys to know that just today you can wake up and make all these positive choices and changes that can put you in alignment with your ultimate vision and you can go from the most negative person, which I was, to the most positive who's pushing forward. Straight, not straightened. You will never be impervious to the negative side effects of life. There's going to be negativity. There's going to be pain. The people who fall victim to their excuses are the most egotistical, self-centered motherfuckers alive. They really believe that someone who has different heights of success doesn't have financial stress. They don't have relationship stress. They don't have stress in general. That low-level motherfucker is failing to understand that Everybody's going through this. Some are just choosing not to fall victim to their excuses and they're pushing forward. But anyways, the main point, we're breaking the cycle regardless of what happens. Life on the line for it. Don't give a fuck. 
Break the fucking cycle. It's not about you, bitch. It's about your family, your people, and how everybody around you thrives from your energy, thrives from your ability to be impervious to defeat, thrives from your ability to know that you love them so much you put your ass on the line at any fucking moment for them, and you're going to push forward, never letting them be less than their ultimate potential. That's a friend. Let's fucking get it. Clarity is not falling victim to the distraction in your life where you're gonna get everywhere and be able to follow your path is knowing that your weakness, that distraction is coming your way and to not fall victim to it. Clarity is not falling victim to the distraction when it comes. These guys were such hard workers. They believed in me so much that I would never let them down. And that's the purpose. That's how we do it. We take more pride in being up for those around us than anything. If your team's failing, it's because you're failing. Extreme accountability is real. If your people and your family, your closest are not leveling up, it's because you're not providing the, a good enough example to make it desirable to them. They are, the results that you get should be so desirable that you should have to fuck, you should never have to talk them into it. Do you know how expensive negative thoughts, negative actions and negativity is? It takes away from your whole life. When you can instill confidence in another man, when you can instill confidence in your people, you just gave them their fucking life back. Confidence, lack of confidence takes away from every moment of your life. Every moment of your life. Lack of confidence is taking away 10, 30, 40, 70% of that moment, depending on how little confidence you earned that day. It's all earned that day. Nobody is inherently confident. Confidence in all these internal assets are earned every fucking day. That's why in the pen, that's why out here, I know that it's no days off because I'm not going to feel like myself if I don't go fucking earn it. Have expectations about how hard you're going to fucking kill it if you can't. That's how I won all those years. I knew I would wake up negative, so I went into something positive. Right into my reading, right into my workouts. I wouldn't let them defeat me. They couldn't take it away from me. The only way to beat the system is to become the system. Become your own self-preservation system based on discipline, self-love, and self-respect. People cannot take this from you. The second I gained a lot of power, all my power in my life, is when I learned to validate myself with the things that cannot be taken because I've had everything taken from me over and over and over again. And guess what? You guys are getting a taste of that now. So my content is very relevant right now. You're going to have to learn to make do with what you got. The man who can excel with what's just at his fingertips is the man that understands everything to a great degree. Comprehension is key at that point. A lot of people just run with the excuse. I don't got weights. I don't got the perfect food. So I'll just wait till it opens. Never wait. That instills that habitually you become a quitter. When you quit on your daily program, depending on how your environment changed, you habitually construct a quitting mindset. Never fucking quit, no matter what it has to turn into. Even if it's just push-ups, squats, and that's all you got, burpees. You have to instill that personal development program is paramount in your life. Never let environmental factors deter you from your vision. But it, in this fucking level of just madness is when you have to find your greatest amount of inner peace. It means more to stay positive when everything's negative. It means more to be grateful when everything's been taken away. So you're being tested. Are you passing the test? Life is a gratitude test. Life is one big test of gratitude. And when everything's taken, do you still go within and become the strong individual you need to be? Or are you waiting just to develop that six pack and appear like you're someone you're not? I only can uphold my word because that's what I know is hardest for me. I don't like to feel soft. I don't like to deviate from the plan. The second I deviate from my plan, I feel like a bitch. And when I feel like a bitch, it ruins my life. I have to be pushing myself to the highest capabilities that I have personally. And that's what everyone must know they must do. The path of most resistance is what gives a man his power. If we choose the path of least resistance, no wonder we lose confidence. No wonder we lose respect for ourselves. We're not pushing ourselves and progression is life. Progression is life. You have to go within and learn to develop 
these characteristics in the times of adversity when it means the most. Nobody grows in times of comfort and ease. In times of great adversity and discomfort, that's when all the changes take place. That's when everything takes place that you're after. All the attributes, all the assets that are internal, that are gonna cause you to be a successful individual are created and your worst of times. Your growth is never packaged how you fucking want it, motherfucker. Look how I learned it. The worst of times created my greatest assets. My ability to see it through regardless. I'm only in it for the now. I have to get up and structure that positive mindset or I'll self-destruct myself. I'm so fucking negative when I wake up. I'm inherently negative. I have to go right into absorbing positive affirmations. I have to go right to it. So I wake up and I force myself up to feel that leadership quality that a man is. He's up first. Leaders do more. So I force myself up and then I grab a book that's positive and I just start absorbing it because I need that. We all need it. Anyone who doesn't believe in our thoughts becoming our actions is fucking foolish. So you have to placate your thoughts and choose the positive ones so that your actions follow suit. When I just blamed other people like a bitch, I was completely negative. I saw the worst in them. But now, but now, when I choose to better myself daily, I see the best in everybody. I know their potential. I've seen myself at the bottom, so I know when they're at the bottom, I understand why and I know how to bring them to the top. We bring them to the top by loving them back into self-respect and with these self-investment activities that give them their own self-love, give them their worth, which is only fucking earned. So on these massive lockdowns, you would see people just self-destruct because they couldn't see their people, no visits, they weren't on the phones. They couldn't fucking get in contact with everybody else. And the fact is at that point, I would just go deep within and send love straight from my heart to my people and I knew they felt it. We're much more powerful than we could ever imagine. And as soon as we tap into that, which is simply our perspective and the way we choose to feel, the way we choose to feel inside, we can shape and alter our reality forever. It's okay though when you're, you gonna, you're always gonna have addiction, an addictive personality. We're always gonna have an addictive personality if we have one. You have to trade your bad addictions for good addictions and that's what I did. That's what I did. The only cure to your addictions and your drug use and your habits is discipline. It's discipline, that's it. When you get disciplined enough through your daily process, you empower yourself. You give yourself the power to choose. To choose, when I wake up today, I don't want to do that shit. I don't want to go down that painful road again. That road was painful as fuck to me. For years, I woke up and said, never again, not today. And then something would trigger me to where I would get weak and I would choose the negative route over the positive one. But now, I don't let triggers phase me because I'm strong enough. Because I wake up in the morning and my first thought is something that just empowers me that my life is worth it, I'm worth it, and then I prove it with action and build that baseline discipline up through my daily small acts so when my weakness comes about, I don't fall victim to my old vices, the drugs, the negative shit, the anger. I don't fall victim to it no more. I've done so good on my anger lately too. I'm so proud of it. You guys, you have to drop all this shit. The biggest problem is, and that's why I don't place all blame on them. I don't place all blame on these lost souls, these baby girls, these little lost boys who don't get it. They were sold up the fucking river. They were never given a chance because they didn't have a father who gave them that rite of passage as a man. So all you fathers out there, make sure you're giving your son his rite of passage, teaching him how to conduct himself making him earn his respect for self, earn his confidence, earn that shit through discipline and hard work, his work ethic and commitment. These lost souls went to the wrong individuals. These individuals running the gangs, in the prison, selling the dope, selling the drugs, and these motherfuckers sold them up. They sold them cheap, sold them fucking cheap. Then they ended up with their back against the wall, thinking it's too fucking late. But it's never too late. It's never too late. And my story shows you that, motherfucker. I was almost gone, straight done. Almost fucking lost as fuck. 
signed up so many times with my anger, my violence, and my addictions to fast money and drugs that I can't even fucking count them. But what got me out was my desire to stay disciplined and the amount of pride I took in my daily conduct. The man who puts more pride in all his value, his validation of self on his daily steps to get the result over the result itself. That motherfucker can't be stopped. I'll say it and I'll say it again because your daily steps stacking your small ass wins is your key to that long view, that success, that future you could always imagine, that future you've always dreamt of. There's a bet going on upstairs and they're sitting there watching all of us. They're putting adversity in our path. They're sitting there making bets. The universe is going, hey, let's make Watson be super fucking tired today. Let's make 245 come real quick. Let's make all his joints hurt. Let's see if he gets up. Oh shit, he's up again. Oh shit, you can't stop him. I got my money on Watson. How about you be one of those motherfuckers that people place bets on? How many people in your life are saying, nah, that fool's gonna get it. I know that fool. That's who they know. They know your character, not your cars, not your job, not who you think you are, not your quirky choices in music and your movies that you fucking think are you. None of that, motherfucker. Who are you at heart when it comes down to it and your back's against the wall? Who can they count on? That's you, motherfucker. Bring yourself from the bottom to the top. Show everybody in your family what life's about, achieving your dreams, living them, being your fucking best. Pass that shit on, pay it forward. Every morning we wake up with the intention of ROV increase and distribution. I love you guys so much. You pump me up so fucking much. All the messages, all the support. I'll never stop, you know that. Jump on the fucking, jump on the train. Don't hit that bitch bell when you hit the line. Straight, hey, I got these big goals, Wes. Ding, oh, I quit, they were too hard for me. Ding, I'm a bitch. Oh, sorry, wife, I'm gonna have tits still. Fuck that, ding. One trick, one thought, one hack, one fail safe, one gem, one quote that we attach to our mindset to cure all negativity, all negative, all negative internal dialogue, all depressed states, everything victim mindset can be negated with this one trick and that is to tell yourself how can I best serve everybody today? How can I best serve everybody today? If you're out just for your gain, you will fuck yourself. Your life will have no meaning. You have to provide worth to others. Nobody knows what's best for you except you. The amount that you want to get fit, the amount of money you want to make, the amount of security you want for your family, and the amount of everything you want to be is only known by you. And the fact is, you start off small. It starts off juvenile like every endeavor we pursue starts off in an elementary fashion. And then through consistency, through consistency, we level up so much to where what was once a warm up is now our, what was once a massive workout is now our warm up. And this happens in all areas of life through consistent application of wisdom. Consistent application of wisdom is everything because then, then once you apply it to your fitness, once you apply it to your diet, which is the first areas I think everybody should apply it to so they truly become before they acquire, apply it to these areas and then watch how it permeates all areas of your life. It starts to bleed into all areas. There's two types of fucking people. The type of people who read books and the type of people who motherfucking write books. You've always said that you were the person who writes books and writes their own story, writes their movie, lives their movie poster. This is what we must do. That's what vision is. Everybody's form of genius is their vision. That's how we live it. That's how we fucking pursue the unimaginable and make it a reality. I look at these mental states as nothing more than a hookup. Stress gets you off the fucking couch. Depression keeps you from living in the past. And anxiety keeps you from going too far in the future. And they all get you off your fucking ass if you realize a pill doesn't solve this. A pill don't fucking solve this. Your action solves this. The cure to everything that ails you is within. And as soon as you realize how fucking simple it is to stack those fucking wins, 
and make your family proud, not give a fuck about how you feel, and know in the end, in the fucking end, they're going to look over you proud, that you really put your whole heart into everything you did without fail, without fucking fail. So the non-negotiable daily growth process based on personal development, mind, body, soul, growth, all areas is all that we're truly after. But we've been sold this big lie, this rouse from the fucking, from society telling us that we need these monetary possessions. When all we really need to do is seek to help each other and push each other through their painful moments. All you motherfuckers got pain. I know that shit so fucking well that I can see it on everybody's face. Exactly what ails them. Exactly what causes them their most pain. And I'm drawn to it. I'm drawn to it because I know how it changed my life to fucking cure that shit within. Action alleviates anxiety. The pump is the fucking cure. Go push yourself when you're getting into one of these negative mindsets and watch it flip from negative internal dialogue to straight PMA, straight positive mental attitude, and then every problem you look at in your life will look completely different. You will see the solution instead of the problem. These motherfuckers are the problem who give people the negative route to take. They're not your friends if they're telling you to come out drinking when you've told them and showed them you have a drinking problem. They're not your friends. They're not. Your friends push you out of your comfort zone to be your best. They know what's best for you. They'll do it with you. That's what we're about here is pushing each other to be their best so that we can create all good motherfuckers around us. Like I've said before, your motherfucking ass don't want the old me at your doorstep. So I'm never going to create the old me with my fucking linguistic abilities. They're never going to be used to bring people down and create that negative internal dialogue that turns into a, a self-inflicting punishment motherfucker who goes and inflicts punishment on others. The way you feel internally is how you treat others. Know that. If anyone's treating you, mistreating you, it's because of their perception of self and they're reflecting it upon you. Push right past that. Wish them growth. Be the best you can be and move the fuck on. I love you guys. Cure people's pain today. Think about how you can best serve others in your life. And this is a key to it. This is a key to lasting contentment and inner peace. Let's get it. Can everybody do me a favor? I need everybody out here to do me a favor. And this ain't just out here. This is in the penitentiary. This is everywhere. This is one of the biggest diseases known to man. People who make stuff up. They're making stuff up in their head, believing this story, this narrative that they make up and letting it ruin their day. They let it ruin their day. In the penitentiary, I learned the opposite. I learned the opposite. I learned to make up the story that suited me, the story that was positive. And this is gained through discipline. When you gain the discipline to choose a positive spin of events over a negative one, that's how we win. That's how we shape our mindset to work for us. Most people are just choosing the negative situation. That will never happen. It will never happen. It's never happened. And they still make it up all the time, believe it, and fuck their day off. It's insane. So how do we defeat this form of negativity in our minds, this negative self-talk, we defeat it through discipline. We structure a rough daily program and we hit every fucking step on that program every day to gain the discipline, gain the strength through that positive self-talk during the act. When you're about to wake up and you're like, I don't want to get up. I'm tired. When that self-talk goes positive and it tells you every way that it benefits you to get up because you're a leader, because you're going to have more hours of the day to win for your people, for yourself and stack them W's. This is what it's about. That self-talk in the moment backed up with the action is who you become. That's how you get away from this negative internal dialogue that makes up narratives in your head that defeats you. People are defeating themselves mentally. It happens in the penitentiary all the time. They wake up in the morning. I ain't using dope today. I want to get clean. I want to do this and that. Then they start to drift into what's going to happen when I get out? What job am I going to have? 
The anxiety of the future is killing people. Now, working now is how we alleviate that anxiety. I was choking back tears the whole time, the first two to three years in the penitentiary. Every day was straight real, and in the pen, we call it living on the street. That fool's still on the street. Look at that fool. He's hard timing. He's still on the street. He's showing his pictures of his family to everybody. He's always on the phone. He hasn't left the street yet. When you haven't left the street yet, the pain is real. And the only thing that alleviated that pain was the work. And the work became the gift. The work became the gift that alleviated the pain of the moment. Whether it was the pain attached to us living in the past, which is depression, or the pain attached to the future, which is anxiety. Living in the now will defeat this every time. And the choices we make in the now are what give us the discipline to choose that positive thought over the negative one. So fuck everything else in between. Fuck everything else in between. We're after that PMA, that positive mental attitude. And that is gained through our positive actions backed up with our positive self-talk. Why do you think nobody makes it when they get out of the penitentiary? Because they get out. They're victims. They've been negative so long. They've habitually created a mindset that's based on negative internal dialogue. And they talk themselves out of everything. I'm not going to be able to get this job. Oh, people trip out on me because of my record. Everything negative. They're making it up. It's not even real. There's plenty of people who want to help someone with the checkered past. Because guess what? They've been one. I'm actually more drawn to the people who have problems in their life because people gave me a chance. So I go give other people a chance and this world is full of people like that. For every negative situation, there's a positive one. Choose the positive spin on life and change your life, alter your perception. You're putting off a horrible vibe when you have that negative thought, those negative thoughts and that negative mindset. The dudes in the penitentiary are straight victims. They'll wait till the last second and just ruin their life, self-sabotage to the core because that's who they've created over time with someone who wants something and does something opposing to the outcome they want. It's called cognitive dissonance. Cognitive dissonance is created by our acts and our self-talk like everything is. We are simply a byproduct of of our actions and our self-talk. And this is extremely apparent when you sit in a closed environment. When you're in a closed environment like the penitentiary for so long, you see the bitch ass behavior. Bitches message me all the time and they don't think their excuses are sickeningly obvious. They really believe that their excuses are, are fucking acceptable. Your excuses are valid, motherfucker. Yes, you got a kid. Yes, you got a job. Yes, there's 24 hours in a day and you're using up a shitload of them. Yes, all that. But the person who wins doesn't give a fuck about their excuses. They don't fall victim to them and they know that their goals don't give a motherfuck about their excuses either. Anything else is placating societal standards for external validation. I want this job because people tell me that Getting a job and making this money makes you successful. The only true success is personal development, mind, body, soul growth. We are spiritual. We are fucking based on our spiritual sense of self. And that's where success and fulfillment comes from. It doesn't come from material gain. So when you chase this, you get further and further away. It's arguably harder to have everything materialistically and be spirit, have lack, a lack of spiritual inclination have a lack of attachment with self, a lack of an understanding of your energy and how you feel. You have to unmake your own fucking problems internally. And that's what I did in the cell. That's what I did in the cell. I would go through these issues day in and day out, the same fucking ones. I guarantee you're going through the same problems every day. And the biggest problem that humans cause themselves every fucking day is continually trying to convince their mind of something their heart knows is a lie. So when we begin to get truthful and reflect, we know ourselves, we know the outcome, we know we must forgive, we know we must push forward, we know exercise fulfills us. Never seen a person get a hard workout and be like, fuck my life, that was bullshit, it was a waste of time. This tells you what you must do in life when you hit flow state. When you get in a flow state and you do not notice time as it passes by, guess where you're at, motherfucker? 
You're in the now. You're in the now where you're most powerful. You're seeing yourself in the future if you continue this course and who you're going to be. That's who you must be. The obstacles are the path to create the individual that's going to live your life's purpose. It's strengthening you. All this shit you're bitching about and being a victim over is strengthening you. How could I be so stupid not to see this after 10 years of incarceration, countless tears, that pain in the pit of my stomach, the lump in my throat to come out here and not still inflict adversity upon myself and go chase pleasure and wash myself up. The adversity is what teaches you over and over and over. These problems, that's the only way we grow. We look at them as blessings. Yes, I get the answer from this one. I'm going to have to sit on this one. I'm really going to go through it right now. And I'm going to fucking learn. Because we never learn until our back's fully against the wall. Everything's been taken. We recognize the value of health when we get sick through sickness. We recognize the value of food through hunger. And when we're hungry, we fight, motherfucker. If I eat too much, I can't even get up. We're meant to fight through everything we do and enjoy the battle, enjoy the fight, take pleasure in who we are and our ability to endure. That's what men are supposed to fucking be. Warriors, battle. We don't fucking quit because it gets difficult and our fucking feelings get in the way. It's the exact opposite. We use that difficulty and our negative feelings are the path, they are the hurdle, and we shut that shit the fuck down with our positive self-talk and the action that backs it up because you can't lie to yourself, motherfucker. Not in this life, not in the next one. So the OGs I know, the OGs I know that aren't getting out, they will tell you, do not live this life. Stay away from it. The real ones, the woke ones that get it, they'll say, get out and change your life. This is painful. I'm sorry that... I'm even part of this shit because I don't want you to feel this. I've been removed from my family for a decade. It kills me every day. And what does a real hard motherfucker do? He does what's hardest. He doesn't perpetual pleasure chase. He's not on dope. He's not going for easy money. He's actually doing what's hardest for him and what's right. What's fucking right. He lives by a fucking code. Trust me. Nobody has a hindrance. Nobody. This is 2020. Everybody can make little tweaks to their daily life to get that weakness extinguished. If you're skinny and you need to put on weight, a little tweak will get you there. But you were doing what's easy, so you never came across it. What's hardest? Thinking. The hardest work known to man is thinking and comprehension, and that's why motherfuckers can't pull it off. They don't put the real work in. They don't do what's really hard. Really hard is getting up and sitting with self and understanding your weaknesses, your flaws, where you're slacking so that you can level up. Like I said, these bitch ass fake motherfuckers sitting there, shooting up in their dicks, shooting up in their feet, shooting up in their forehead and their necks. What? That's just running from pain. The real motherfuckers did their time right. They really killed it for months on end, saw that they weren't progressing, changed their diet, everything that was hard for them, they lived it, they did it, and their exterior and their interior and their results in life are a byproduct. It ain't just fucking words. There has to be results nowadays, and a lot of fucking people forget that shit. There is few, there is few that when you walk up to them, you're just like, I know you won't be denied. Be one of those people. Be one of those people impervious to defeat. Be one of those fucking people who walks in alignment with their vision 24-7. A half-assed motherfucker will call a real motherfucker obsessed. Obsession is the only thing that's going to get you towards your vision. These motherfuckers with conflicting belief systems. Oh no, I do this, but I do that. And I do a little bit of this. Motherfucker, nobody great ever got to where they're going with some conflicting fucking beliefs. It's all or nothing. They become their beliefs. That's real. When you become your beliefs and you never sell them out, you would die before you sell out your fucking beliefs. Everything else is the follower bitches who literally just didn't have a positive male role model. So fuck that. You step up, I'll step up, we'll live it, we'll live it. Because the only way to happiness and success 
Contentment, because fuck happiness, it don't exist. Contentment and success is to be a solid motherfucker. To do unto others what you want done to yourself. These pussies who have to shoot up, they're fucking literally masking all their pain. They have to drink it away. They have to sniff it away. They have to shoot the fuck up. They have to be violent towards others still. This is all the shit that I was doing. This was me. I was the worst. When I sat in that mirror and I saw that I was the biggest bitch, the biggest one, I had to stop. Because guess what? I had a positive role model. So I was the individual really controlling people and influencing them to do shit that's not good for them. So I had to unmake this karmic debt and I had to come out here and do the opposite. I had to spend and put my life on the line, forego all these pleasures that most people call life to show everybody how to be a real man and really live it. And I'm going to live it to a T till the day I fucking fall. All my all till the day I fall. And that's it. You need to drop problems as quick as possible. Why? Why do you need to drop problems as quick as possible? Because habitually, when we sit there and think about all the negative sides of a situation, we create a victim. We create that victim mindset and we habitually learn to just look at the negatives. We habitually learn to look at the negatives. Some of the most positive individuals I've ever been across were in the penitentiary because they learn not to dwell on shit. They learn just to move right past it. When you sit there and you're scrolling social media, do you get a hundred good comments and just let the bad one ruin your day? You're fucking tripping. Magnify the positives in life. Magnify the positives and habitually construct someone who only reacts to and only sees the positives. I see people out here who get one negative thing wrong in their life and they fuck over the 99 positive things, great things in their life that day over the one thing that didn't go their way. And that's something that people don't do in the penitentiary. That's something that people don't do in the penitentiary because everything's going wrong. Everything in your life is wrong when you're in the penitentiary, but you're making it right. You're making it right. You're seeing the best side. Nothing is favorable. Nothing is how you want it. Nothing. Your fucked up bed to your fucked up meal to the fact that you ain't seeing your family for a long fucking time and you're being told where to go and what to do. You're going to mind somebody in prison. Resume program. You're going to mind somebody. These are two phrases you're going to hear in the first fucking day and you're going to listen. You're going to listen. And you don't have to go in there to learn this shit. Militant has been a form of teaching since the dawn of time because we, we are habitual creatures by nature. Humans are habitual by nature. It gives us our confidence. These small daily tasks, stacking these wins, this is what builds us into who we are. Try it. Don't do shit for a week. You'll feel like shit. And then for the next week, do everything on your list. You'll feel great even if they're small things. And then when you come across that confidence, you walk into that new job, go, to, go on that date with that new girl, anything, you're coming with your best self. So then habitually, over time, you're learning to just see stuff in a positive manner, see the upside, see the solution. You're learning to walk in with the most positive attitude because you have habitually taught yourself to operate at a rate of vibration that motherfuckers never even seen. So they think you're intense, but they love it because you pump them up. You show them what's possible. This is what I want for you guys. This is what your people need. This is what people need. What's the other side of it? That sluggish, chest sunk in, Pussy motherfucker, just talking. Guess what? They exist in prison too. Your fucking, your environment doesn't dictate who you are in heart. Your environment does not change who the fuck you are. So if you think you're going to end up in there and change just because association or environment, fuck no. Bitches in there find ways to be bitches just like they do out here. It's a daily choice. That daily choice to walk in congruence with your conscience of what a man is. A man, by definition, is responsible. And he don't tap. He has a goal. He sees it through. He only knows one end. That's with him winning. I don't give a fuck about where you start at. I have all the respect for the people who work come in and they put their heart on the line for everything they want. Straight heart every day. This is what builds you. You can be that vision of that man and who you are the second you work for it that day. Then guess what? Get up and do it again. Get up and do it the fuck again. 
We don't fucking tap. We don't take days off. It's not allowed. It's not allowed. Why the fuck do you need a day off of character, character construction? Why would you want a day off of building discipline? Why would you want a day off of character construction? What would that do? How's that going to help you? Science told me, Wes. Science told me a day off. Fuck science. Science says you're a bitch. You know you've heard it before, and this is the reality of it. People placate science to help them. They placate science to help them. Perpetual pleasure chase. And what we don't do around here is listen to shit other than our conscience. And I know I feel the best when I get up and go my hardest for my people because I fucking love them. Don't need shit. Don't need it. Done less. Done it with less. Having what you want. Yeah, it's riches, baby boy. Yeah, it's riches. Do it without. That's motherfucking power. So when I know I want to be a certain way, I want to be strong, I think I'm fucking strong, I think I'm fucking somebody, then I apply it to everything without fail because I know I'm creating who I am with my actions, with my self-talk, with my thoughts. Words are fucking who you want to be, motherfucker. Actions are who you are. People talk too fucking soon. When the power comes from the application of it and the duration and intensity of its fucking application, especially when everything's against you. It means more when the door doesn't open. It means more. It means more when that tray ain't filled with the foods and you can still see it. You can still find the fats, proteins, and carbs on that tray to get you your goals. You can still change up your training to be able to come out jacked with nothing, with nothing. I came out after this lockdown bigger, bigger, and more ripped because of complete comprehension and application of this wisdom. If you apply this wisdom and don't give your bitch ass any excuses, that's one of the biggest things. I made it this far because there's two fucking things. I did not give an excuse. I would not take one. And that's to myself, motherfucker. To my fucking self. Holding people to this level, holding a man to his highest ability, his highest potential, that's the best thing we could do for the next man. The best thing. That shows equality. That shows that I believe that next man is equally fucking equipped for greatness. So if you hear me speaking to you in this manner, it's because you're fucking worth it. How, how do you figure it out though? How do you find your vision? You answer the call, motherfucker. You answer that call when it comes in. The call from your conscience this morning when it comes in. And to find your purpose, you don't just stumble upon that shit. Your purpose and the finding of it is answering a series of calls. A series of calls from your conscience. The first one will be something simple. Like you have to change your exterior. You, you have to do something physically. I call this a notification for self-preservation. It's a notification for self-preservation from the universe telling you that there has to be changes made in your life for you to be mentally, physically, and spiritually on point with where you need to go in this life. You're being asked to be more. You're being thrown these difficulties because you're being prepared. You're being prepared from these difficulties to be everything you're supposed to be. How could you believe anything other than that? How? When every motherfucker that faced massive adversity and overcame it turned into the man he wanted to be from the adversity. Adversity introduces a man to himself and hard times build character, motherfucker. Straight up. I care this much because there is so much genius just being lost out there because of perpetual pleasure chasing. Motherfuckers going after pleasure seeking instead of chasing their vision. Because guess what? Chasing what your conscience tells you, answering the call this morning, guess what it's going to be? It's going to be difficult, bitch. It always starts off hard. Anything worth doing in this life is. So that wake up time, that training, that diet, those affirmations that you read daily and apply and apply, apply. If you don't have problems with fucking, if you don't have problems with being too, if you're not a fucking introvert, and you're more of an extrovert like myself, you may have issues with your anger, with your intensity. And then you have to create habits on the other side of that, which is practicing being more compassionate to others, practicing more love and understanding, which is where I fucking have to practice and put my strength. 
That's where I have to focus my energy. But if you're the other motherfucker, more of an introvert, you have to focus on more savage self-talk, ethical egoism. Your self-talk should be fucking affirming and strong. It should be pushing you forward. Your self-talk should be ethical with massive ego attached to it. You don't go about some shit thinking, oh, I just want to be the top 100,000 in the world. You have to go about it like I'm going to be the motherfucking best in the world at what I'm after right now. That's how you have to think if you want to get anywhere near the top of fucking anything. In the penitentiary, these motherfuckers are coasting. And your boy kept coming out after these lockdowns just like, bam, what's up? Nobody was ripped with over 20 inch arms that was just fucking massacring and understanding. Some people have crazy genetics. Never fucking... Never downplay their genetics or their work ethic. But you know when someone really changed from here to fucking here. And that's what I'm after. I don't give a fuck where you, I don't give a fuck where you're currently at. I want to see the change. Change is difficult. Change is difficult. Positive change is what's hard. We need to change these definitions so that we pass them on to the young, the youth and the youngsters that Changing what's hardest for you by attacking it daily is what a hard motherfucker's made out of. Not that other bullshit. Not that other bullshit that leaves you in tears. These dudes in the penitentiary looking fucking hard, coming out after that lockdown, saggy as shit, more tattoos, more fake ass shit on the outside. Fucking costume party motherfuckers is what I used to call them. Look at this clown. Can't even pull his exterior together and he's got all this shit he's adding to it. Fucking costume party, bitch. Fuck you, what? We know you're soft. How are you gonna act like you're not soft internally when you're soft externally? How? How is that possible? How do you have a cold stroll walking up and down the tier with tits? How does that even work? Where does the cold stroll come from when you got straight fucking titties? Like, take that. Just take a little off that, homeboy. That's what we fucking say. Motherfuckers earn that walk. They earn that confidence. Everything is earned internally. Everything earned, especially internally. You can't fucking read about discipline, motherfucker. Run a fucking year in with me. You'll be disciplined as fuck. That's what I'm talking about. You want to win in life? Discipline. Discipline. Attack the root. All areas. Massive discipline. Massive long view. Apl application of wisdom across the board. Fuck your strengths. I sit down with people and I just go, first thing first, I just go, what's your credo? What's your credo? What's your quote? What do you live by? Let me hear it. And they'll tell me something. And I say, what motherfucking area aren't you applying that in? Okay, go. Who you are when those fucking doors are closed and they're not opening, that's who you are, motherfucker. Not when everything's perfect. Everybody's waiting for this perfect set of fucking princess circumstances that's never coming. You want success? You want some success, motherfucker? Well, guess what you're asking for? A bigger set of problems, a bigger set of problems. So guess what all this is? This daily process I preach, this discipline, attaining this character, the creation of this man, the creation of this man who's impervious to defeat, is that motherfucker when everything wasn't going his way and he refused to tap because when I was sitting in the BMU and I didn't even have a shot of coffee, there was no books, the light was on 24 hours a day, the cell was just damp as fuck, dirt everywhere, shitty ass holding fucked up shit. I cleaned that cell like it was perfect. I hit that shit with the towel two times a day, soaped everything, had it flawless, set it up the way I needed it and took pride in it. Took pride in that concrete. Took pride in that steel toilet. Made everything perfect as it could be because the way you do anything is the way you do everything. And these motherfuckers will let their life pass by because they'll agree with this quote and they won't fucking apply it. They won't apply it where it's needed. They're just fucking magnifying the area that they do apply it. Fuck your strengths, motherfucker. Fuck it. Fuck that shit. So when I wake up every single day, my main goal is to not break character, not break program, because I know what's happening. I know what's happening. I know there is no hack in life. And I know these daily steps is the key to personal development. All these daily steps is a key 
to these assets that you want. I get messages every day. Wes, I need more discipline. Okay, let's discipline you then. Motherfucker, it ain't the book. You ain't getting more discipline by reading Jordan Peterson's book with your fucking feet kicked up and your coffee and your pastry, motherfucker. Fuck you. You fucking get more discipline by disciplining yourself. Living a hard life. Taking pride in it. Taking pleasure in not being pleased. The motherfucker who can straight take the most pride in the smallest shit will live the best life. That's the motherfucker. The motherfucker who truly appreciates the smallest shit in his life and it can attach the deepest meaning to the most insignificant daily task. Motherfuckers out here take away all their power. They only think the result is what gives them their fucking success and their power. You're creating it. Your assets, your greatest assets, your sense of validation is your daily conduct. In the penitentiary on a lockdown, what result do you have? There's no mirror. You're not coming out for a long time. So what is it? You're just trying to get through the day. You're just getting through the day. How do we get through our days on the street or in the pen on a corona lockdown? How do we get through the day best? We make ourselves fucking proud. How do we make ourselves proud? We hit every fucking thing on our checklist and then we add to it. We add intensity, knowledge, consistency, intensity in that motherfucking order, in that motherfucking order. If you're not getting your result and you're doing something daily, if you're not progressing very quickly, then you're going to feel down on yourself. Progression is life. We must progress. We must. I don't give a fuck about your level. If you don't progress, you will feel less. There is no stagnation. So regression is death. Progression is life. We must progress. So that forces the evolution and us push, pushing forward, us as humans. That's how we've got this far. Are you an asset to this? Or are you dragging people down because of laziness? Because of lack of fucking follow through? I will not give up. That is a secret to success. I will not give up. And I will never tap. And I'm not just talking about the fucking workout. If that's your strengths, understand that. Go straight to your weakness. Is your weakness comprehension? Motherfuckers out here tap on technology in two seconds. The second they don't understand an app or something, oh, I don't get this. And they get all fucking flustered and fuck their self off because they're fucking feelings like bitches. You have to follow through on everything. You have to comprehend everything. You have to pull it off at a high ass level. This is 2020. Fit as fuck, ripped, rich, on point, character fucking paramount. This is what can take place. Why can't it? Why the fuck can't it? If one motherfucker on this planet did it, then you can, especially if some motherfucker who just got out of prison did it, you can. Why can't you? Because you don't fucking believe in it. The only way to have strict ass fucking daily regimens that build your self-belief and your self-worth is to work fucking daily at adding to them. You fucking keep it simple. Wake up early. Hit your workout. Read something positive. I'm going to keep saying this. This is what works. What else would it be if it's not this? Is it that new job that gets you more money so that you can get another thing that doesn't fulfill you? The things that we do not need in this life will never fulfill you. There will never be enough money. The car will never be sick enough. The place will never be badass enough. That's just how it works. The only things that will fulfill you is what we truly need. We truly need to be better, push better principles, build our people up. This is the only thing that works. What? Try everything else. I've tried everything else. It doesn't do shit for you. So the real ones who came off this lockdown in better shape, mentally, physically, spiritually, they were after becoming. They, they knew that their daily conduct is what got them through that day. So what's the fucking answer? The answer is now, today, today. Make yourself so proud, hit everything on that checklist and then guess what motherfucker? Do it again tomorrow and add to it. How can you add to something that you didn't even pull off today? How are you gonna add to it tomorrow? Motherfuckers do that. Instead of tracking their macros, they just wanna add more work to their workout. You dumb motherfucker, we're not adding cardio yet. You didn't even do what I put on your plate. Track your macros perfect and train. Just because you aren't strong enough to mentally comprehend without giving up like a bitch, this knowledge I'm putting on your plate doesn't mean you can just go outwork it by adding more work. That's the stupidest fucking shit that everybody's doing out here. 
everybody. They're just quitting. And then they fucking agree with something like, yeah, don't tap. Motherfucker, you tapped. Where's your fucking results? Let me see them. Need to see them. We all need to fucking see them. There is no perfect plan. There is no perfect plan. Biggest mistake out here. Biggest mistake out here. All these individuals that won't get into action because they don't have the perfect plan. It doesn't exist. There is no perfect plan. Everything is evolving. So guess what? Imperfect action is what makes people successful. If you can act with imperfect action daily and add to it, then you're gonna succeed. You have to understand that a good coach does not give you a perfect plan. One does not exist. So what a good coach does is he keeps you from your bad plans. In this life, this far into it, it's more about what we shouldn't do, what causes us regret, what keeps us from going down the correct path. Yes, yes, there is systems. Yes, there is ways to move forward much quicker. And we have the optimal plan for what our knowledge is in society now. Now, in this day, we have the optimal plan. Is it perfect? No, it will never be. I know people who I give a plan to and they, because they don't understand it fully, they won't get to work. Motherfucker, you shouldn't understand it right off the bat. You just started. You just looked at it. What type of ego is on a motherfucker where they think they should just look at it and get it? We learn through the fucking process. It cannot be done through study. It can only be done through life. We instill this knowledge in our soul. We add to it. Are you someone who adds to your area of expertise or do you just wait to copy the next shit? Who the fuck are you, motherfucker? Are you spending time to comprehend what's right in front of you? Do you even research stuff that intrigues you, stuff you're curious about? Push yourself to be better. These motherfuckers in the pen always were the biggest liabilities because they couldn't be a beginner again. They thought they knew some shit. A lot of people out here think they know some shit too. Be a beginner, ask for help. If you don't know it, you don't know it. If you saw me working on my car out front, a mechanic drove by, he'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? You're gonna fuck that car up. I don't know how to work on cars. I bring it to a mechanic. If you don't know shit about your diet, quit taking shit off the news, that ain't fucking working. You should be moving forward very quickly. If you learn to get out of your way, if you learn to make sacrifices towards your goals and know that these sacrifices will ultimately be your greatest pleasure when you consistently string together perfect days, you will understand what I'm talking about. Taking so much pleasure and not being pleased that this motherfucking life's a breeze. This shit's too easy. When you get out of your way, it's too fucking easy. Nobody wants to believe they're a follower till they roll up to the place, not planning on drinking, then their friends talk them into it, fuck them over, they wake up with anxiety, crying about their shit, throwing up. Pussy, pussy, straight up. Nobody should dictate your vision. That's your vision supplied from the universe, supplied from above. That's your life's purpose. So many are so void of meaning. So many are so void of a life's purpose because they ain't listening to their vision. They're selling out their vision for some instant gratification, some bitch ass shit that I've been around for too long. That's the only reason I succeeded is because I would not give or take a motherfucking excuse. Not in the pen, not in here. I had that ultimate vision. It would bring me to tears every morning. Tears every morning in the pen when I thought about my future family. And I started back then. Someone, something that was pure imagination, a family that I won't have for fucking 10 years. And I'm going to start today because I have so much to correct. And this is, this is something that's not promised. Do you only work hard if you're promised something in return? Or do you have deeper meaning behind what you're working for? Because you know the attributes that you're acquiring, the true assets that are internal is what you're building. The habitual creation of the individual who goes after these steps daily and knows these little steps are his power. His ability to conquer himself daily with these little steps and not wake the fuck up and say, I, but I'm tired, I don't feel like, who the fuck gives a fuck about what you feel like? Your goals don't give a fuck about what the fuck you feel like. 
getting caught in your feelers, the motherfucking feelers derailing grown ass men from their true goals and putting these bitches in tears. Sitting in the mirror later after years and years of putting off your dreams, putting off your goals with tits looking like shit. Can't even walk your kid down the beach with your shirt off enjoying yourself. Yes, this shit's important because what attaches you to the moment more than being in the moment, not having selfish self-talk in that moment. So many people operate out of selfish self-talk in these massive moments with their family. The shit they say they live for. The shit they say they live for. At that moment, their fucking self-talk is so selfish. That fat fuck on the beach can't even enjoy time with his kid. Can't even run around and play with him because he's sitting there thinking, oh, how bad do my tits look from this angle? What about, am, am I looking weird? Do I feel weird? Get the fuck present, motherfucker. And presence in this life is earned by gaining confidence. We gain confidence through the daily steps. So let me break it down again. Let me break it down again. Your conscience is telling you when you fucking sleep in to get up earlier the next day and that's the universe that's a hookup that's regret regret is a hookup instilled in your fucking chest that is the universe speaking to you it's saying motherfucker you're not gonna live your best life if you don't listen to me you dumb motherfucker you're gonna show up somewhere one day no matter what your religious denomination is or if you believe we're just energy you're gonna show up and whoever created us is gonna say motherfucker the fuck weren't you listening for? I've been talking to you this whole time. When you wake up in the morning and you throw that big bag of shit in the mirror that you've been putting off, that your selfish ass wants your family to co-sign on, you look in that mirror and it tells you, hey, I should quit back. I should cut back today. I got to work out today. I got to pull this together today. Don't you fucking out fucking think yourself and build up all this shit society tells you. It's very easy. But just knowing you have to survive. Survival is all that you must know. So you have to strengthen yourself every day, mentally and physically, just to endure this place built on such pain, death, and tragedy. Why do you make up scenarios in your head daily and defeat yourself with them? These scenarios that are actually taking place are happening for you, motherfucker. Life is happening for you. If there was never a negative event in your place, that, in your life that you had to overcome, you would be that spoiled bitch that nobody respects and he don't even respect himself. Worst off, he don't even respect himself. To respect ourselves daily and love our lives and enjoy what we're after, be grateful, we have to overcome. We're meant to overcome and adversity introduces a man to himself. Your self-talk becomes real evident when you're going through some shit. Whether you're a fucking bitch or you're that person who's going to beast up and take everything over. That's up to you. Your self-talk, your actions, this is creating your strengths and your weaknesses. It's simply up to you. I came from the very bottom. If this little shit going on around you is crippling you, it's because you're a bitch making decisions based on your feelings. The pros operate out of fucking commitment, you simple motherfucker. There's a fucking goal and our feelings in the moment never deter us from this goal. We're able to look straight ahead towards that goal and be void of all feelings in the moment and only act on the plan that gets us there. You have to elevate yourself daily. Just because you killed it yesterday doesn't mean you're not going to fall victim to regret and feeling like a piece of shit if you don't conduct yourself in that same manner today. It seems impossible because people talk themselves out of these goals with their fucking feelings in the moment. I see it all the time. The biggest hindrance that people have in this world is their feelings in the moment that talk themselves out of their ultimate goals. If we all cured ourselves of this, we would all achieve the life of our dreams. And that life is achieved daily just by the internal feeling we get through conducting ourselves in a manner that's congruent with our ultimate vision. Your vision is everything. Being in alignment with your vision is everything. If not, you feel off. You feel off and feeling off is a fucking sign from infinite intelligence. It's a sign from the universe that you're not walking in alignment with where you're supposed to go. You're not on the path to your life's purpose. Do you think when I started my prison term, I really knew it would end like this? Or did you think I just stayed strong daily? 
I believed in the path, the character. If a man is right, his world will be right. And I focused on this. I focused on helping those around me. One of the quickest ways to step out of your selfish self-talk that ends in depression, your selfish self-talk that causes you to be depressed. Oh, I don't feel good. What's my life's purpose? I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't have a path, Wes. That's bitch-ass, selfish-ass shit. Wake up tomorrow and think, how can I serve everybody best today? And then you'll realize that you're gonna have to personify the teachings if you're gonna serve. So guess what? It's a fucking win-win. You level yourself up and level them up in the process. Bringing up all those around you, like I like to say, creating assets. How people leave your presence is a direct depiction of who the fuck you are as a fucking man. I used to leave these drug addicts, these convicted murderers and massive criminals who gave up on life, leaving them with hope. Leaving them with massive hope, instilling them with the energy to go be a better person. How more can we inflict positivity on the world than changing the man next to us? Changing the man next to us, one at a time, by us foregoing all these superficial pleasures that everybody calls life so that we can teach, so that we can become our best product and push it on to people to be better. How else? What is more selfless than that? I'm never going to sleep in because I want to show them we can squeeze more hours out of the day to be our best because we know that that discipline of the hardest thing ever to break that pleasureful sleep, to get up and live your best life and seek growth, that that builds discipline. I'm going to limit my food intake so that I can create discipline at every meal and be the man that's needed for my family so that I don't crack to my weaknesses. This is baseline discipline increase. And I'm going to work out my hardest I'm gonna surpass levels that I know so that I make myself proud. And when I'm proud, I have pride for others and I see the best in others. We're creating this. We're a byproduct of our actions. It's nothing you're gonna read, you simple fuck. Get your fucking feet off the table and get to work. Fuck that shit. Put down that fucking pastry. You're better than that. This is not life. That is not life. Living in the moment is not that. Living in the moment means walking in congruence with your conscience as it supplies the vision moment by moment. Get up, get up, get up. It's telling you. What do you think that is? You think that's you, motherfucker, who's telling you to get up? You think that's you, motherfucker, that's saying get up? That's the universe. It's telling you you're worth more. That's your higher self giving you that call, that wake-up call that you're in control. Get up. Go. That's your higher self when you're in the mirror and it says, that ain't the look for you. That ain't who you're supposed to be. You can change that. You must. To be in complete alignment, you must align yourself with what you see yourself as, as your best self. If you're not working to create your best self, you will never be in alignment. I don't give a fuck what room you're in. I don't care a fuck how rich you are. I don't give a fuck how educated you are. You are not what you see in the mirror. And that goes the same with your character and conduct. When I break character and I'm angry with people that I love or I'm short with people or I'm rude to people, I'm not in alignment. It ruins my whole fucking day. It takes away from me so quick. I'm not me no more. I'm not able to operate. So I know, I know that wisdom's across the board and I know this applies to every situation. Appearance, demeanor, energy, actions, everything. You're getting exactly what you asked for. That negative feeling you're getting, you ask for that, motherfucker. Those negative feelings are a hookup from the universe. Depression is a blockade keeping you from going in the past because you're meant to be in the now. Anxiety is a blockade sent from the universe keeping you from going into the future so that you're in the now. Because the only thing that creates the fucking, the, the, the only antidote to that pain is the action now. Whether it's depression of the past or anxiety from the future. The action now is the only thing that alleviates this pain that we inflict upon ourselves by skipping too far in the past or moving too far in the future. We must know all these things and see them as they're happening. But first off, we have to take our feelings out of the moment. Because while you're watching this video, you can agree with it. But can you fucking agree with it when you're really hungry, when your friends really want to go do something and it's going to be really fun? Can you stick to your fucking purpose then? That's the fucking point. Can you fucking do it then? Let's go. 
This cannot be done through study. So throw away those fucking textbooks. This can only be done through life. We instill this into our soul. We gain the discipline by living it. There is no hack, motherfucker. You ain't gonna read that book or hear this new guru speech and automatically gain discipline. You're gonna wake up every day and earn that shit, motherfucker. Vision so fucking strong. All this sacrifice you see, all this work you see is fucking irrelevant because we know, we know where it leads. We know it leads to creating our greatest assets, our greatest assets internally to the fact of if we lost everything today, we would get it right back tenfold, tenfold because our greatest assets, our form of validation is our conduct, our character. All this other shit means nothing. It's nothing. If you're validating yourself externally, it's for your own ego to prove to other people that you're something you're not internally. Yes, we have pleasures. Yes, there are certain things that you should find pleasure in. And the biggest pleasures you should find is your ability to forego instant gratification to make your dreams come true, your dreams, your vision. Don't ever... Take advice from a motherfucker whose position you don't want to be in because leaders do more. Consider the fucking source before you fucking just fall victim to some fucking fancy ass words and some linguistic abilities. I always fucking downturn that shit real quick, looking right into the actions. I know you ain't doing it, motherfucker. I can feel you don't live it, motherfucker. I can sense that energy, baby boy. I've been around that energy, motherfucker. Took the block many times from a simple motherfucker who was based off dope and manipulation. Getting his people high so he can run them. Getting his people high so he can run them. Instead of building them up so that they wanted to follow him. Instead of creating that next leader. I create leaders, motherfucker. I create leaders because that's what I want for them. I want them to walk away and be able to take care of themselves and their people for life off the fucking assets they acquired. They acquired by being in the right circle. You are like the five people you spend the most time around. Watch the motherfuckers you spend your time around. Make sure they're leveling up. We need you. We need you to be positive and not fuck up this whole message. If everybody, we, I hate negativity. I hate living with tension. I lived with tension for so long. It's crippling me and, and killing me and consuming me right now because I just want everything good. I just want everything good with everyone. I want you to feel good and win and I want to feel good and win. So it's going to start within. The change is within in our households with our people, knowing that if we push our people into something that we know causes us pain, that's the problem though. So few are woke enough and so few have enough accountability to say when it causes them pain. They're probably drowning themselves out with vices. So when the regret hits, when the pain hits of what they just really did, then they're impervious to it because they're just not even present. See, when you're present, the pain is real and the answers come because you don't go running. You don't fucking go running. There is so much just instant karma being handed out directly outside of this fucking building. I've watched stupid motherfuckers who park along my street for this rally riot and protest go demolish my city and then come back to their own vehicle, their own fucking vehicle to see it demolished by their fellow rioters, demolished. D is that a just cause? Do, or did you just participate in the cycle you could have fucking broke? This is just bullshit. I'm not gonna talk about it after this video. After this week, we're going straight back to within and how we better ourselves. I'm doing it every day. Every time you get into a negative mindset about this, please go into positive activity. Gain that PMA, that positive mental attitude, raise your rate of vibration, and come bring love and positivity to everybody around you because I feel it. I feel the anxiety, I feel the depression, I feel all the pain, and I know the answer. The answer is positive action in the now. I look at anxiety as a hookup from the universe to keep you from going too far in the future and making up situations that will never take place. So that's a wall. That's a barrier. Anxiety is a hookup. Hey, don't go that far ahead. Focus on the now. That's where your power is at. So is depression. 
It's a hookup. Don't go that far in the past. You're not going that way. Focus on now. So action in the now alleviates the anxiety and the pain of the future. And action in the now takes away that pain from us living in the past in a depressed state. So what is the answer always? The answer is always now. The actions we take now. And make sure the actions you're taking now are in alignment with the motherfucking future you wish to create. Or guess what? Negative acts now are going to carry with it a lifetime of regret and massive karmic debt. Massive karmic debt. So many people nowadays don't realize why they can't get ahead. They can't get ahead because of the karmic debt they ensue in times like this. If a man is right, his motherfucking world will be right. Golden rule across the board. Let's all break this fucking cycle and get back to life. Not fall victim to this bullshit at hand. I love you guys. You need to not judge people by race, by career choice. None of that shit. It's so foolish. Situations like this get handled by karmic debt and you have to have faith that people's karma comes and gets them. Don't add to yours because some fool was willing to fucking throw his life away by injuring another man. It is the dumbest shit to break character at these times, at these fucking times, is when we uphold our character at the highest degree and we don't go stealing from stores that supported us when we needed them. These are hardworking individuals who tried to create a life. How much karma do you think you're gonna ensue when you go steal and burn down the store of an individual who's trying to make his way? So fucking foolish, but I get it. I've been fueled by rage and it just ate me up inside. It just ate me up inside. There's two modes of operation in this life. There's two modes. There's love and there's fear. We have to operate out of love or we're gonna continually sign our own ticket. We're gonna sign our own fucking ticket and take our families down with us if we ain't willing to get right and drop these broad generalizations and this ignorance that is racism and any sort of fucking just pinpointing fingers at whole groups of individuals for their association. Drop that shit. The biggest bitch, the biggest bitch on this planet, whoever the fuck he is, is someone who has a lot of pain in his heart from his actions and he isn't grown enough or mature enough to steer away his loved ones or anybody from experiencing that motherfucking pain he knows. This is what long view is. This is what pain is. You're meant to experience pain every day. The pain of the world. You're supposed to feel it. If you don't feel pain, there's repercussions. It's called comfort and the bitch ass shit that comes with it. Lack of confidence, tits, pussy shit, not feeling yourself, not enjoying life, over fucking compensating of pleasure seeking that fucks you over, perpetual pleasure chasing. You're meant to feel pain. Pain brings us closer to who we are. Pain teaches. Pain has lessons attached. You understand and feel and have the fucking compassion for all the pain in the world because we're all attached. You have to have fucking straight up compassion for everybody on this planet. So you have to go hungry every day. You have to physically exert yourself. You have to wear yourself out. These bitches are like, Wes, I'm tired. Compared to what? Wes, I'm hungry. Compared to who, motherfucker? Someone will die today. You're not hungry. You're a bitch. You're a pussy. And you keep forgetting that you're a wet ass fucking vagina. Straight up. That's what you keep forgetting. You keep mistaking that for motherfucking hunger. We all know it's bitch made to continually do the same shit and cry about the outcome. Continually doing the same shit and expecting different results. Definition of insanity. One of the stupidest quotes that I fucking even, I don't even like that one, but it always pops up because isn't it so fucking true how stupid we are, how insane we are when we do that? So the fact is, is you guys, I don't care if you're at rock bottom. I've been below bottom. I've been below the jail, under the jail, inside the motherfucking shoe, feeling it, feeling it from all angles, all the pain. The second you can be at your worst spot, your worst spot in your life, and say, you know what? I don't give a fuck. I'm so sick of this shit. And you can turn it around. That's when everything, all the magic happens. Because it means more to you. When you're actually at a massive deficit. 
when the adversity is real. Everything I ever craved. Before, when I was busted, it was the vision of my future family that kept me going. So you guys, if you don't have a family, when I always speak of making your son proud, making your wife proud, making your people proud, if you don't have no one, then the vision of your future family is enough because that's all I fucking had and that was enough. And guess what? Everybody is so fucking saturated in their current reality and the pain of it, they forget that your imagination is real if you go through the actions to create it. I created this. I created this. I manifested it. By not backing down, by listening to my conscience, living in a congruent manner to the steps my conscience supplied. My conscience said, Wes, you don't want to be a fat bitch with tits. Wes, you want real love, so love yourself first. Our capacity for love starts within self. The greater we can love self, the greater we can love others. We cannot give something that is which not first created within. We can only love at the capacity at which we know love within, we harbor love within. So the fact is, like I've said before, the fat dad who treats himself like shit, he does love his son. He loves his son at the same capacity for love at which he knows within, at which he loves himself. So the 18 pack he drinks, the tits he has, the lack of self-respect that he has and love for self he has, it's the capacity of love at which he can pass on. So it's all he fucking knows. We only know how to operate at our known capacity. So grabbing, grabbing these three tasks, these three tasks, your nutrition, your training, your self-reflection, your personal development. Personal development is everything. That's what we're doing here. We're developing that individual that will thrive in all situations by having these affirmations. These morning affirmations, these videos, these videos, everything I share, these morning affirmations, this wisdom, everything I share is what brought me from 18 cents an hour in the pen, working a kitchen job that was fucking bullshit, to being super fucking grateful with nothing in the pen, all the way to where I'm at today, owning my own corporation and living the life of my dreams, which I still corrupt. I still corrupt this life of my dreams and get ungrateful at times. But this, this is what brings me back and centers me again. The fact that I know every morning I have to have this process. I have to instill these fail safes in my mind for all the issues I have. Character development, not breaking character whatsoever every day is my main goal. I'm getting better. Are we perfect? We're not perfect. This is something that will be a massive trouble for me my whole life, but I will never give up. And that is the precursor for success. The fact that we will never give up on what we desire in our heart. And what I desire is to no longer cause myself pain by coming out of character with individuals I do or don't know, do or don't know. It affects me the same way because I came out of character. When I come out of character, I fucked up me and I have to deal with me. That's the only time we give up time of our life. We only fuck, we fall into karmic debt so quick by attaching to a past event. We're no longer in the present. We're no longer in the present. So how many times are you gonna have to hit rock bottom? Are you gonna watch these videos, agree with the wisdom I share, and then choose to hit rock bottom again, again and again? I know we have to learn the lesson, continually learn the lesson until we finally learn the lesson, but there's some shit, and there's these youngsters nowadays who don't even choose to go the route I speak of. They actually follow my process to a T, and they excel very quickly. A lot of them are in my program, and they amaze me that they can adopt. They can fully walk in alignment with the process that I supply, and they fucking gain the wisdom that I took 13 years to gain. They gain that in 90 days or six months. They fully just don't doubt. So what is the end result? We've come full circle. What is the end result? Zero self-doubt. Never fucking doubt yourself. Discipline. Discipline is the only thing holding you back. Every goal, every fucking dream you ever had, your discipline is holding you back. Those bitches on the yard who cried about their kids in my face got the fuck out picked that needle up again, went back to prison. If they had enough discipline, if they exercised discipline in their daily life, they would have been able to control that. 
but instead they're back feeling that pain. A lot of them never getting out. Fucking pussy shit. As soon as you call yourself a pussy for your fucking choices, for that limiting ceiling, that self-imposed ceiling that you're putting on yourself, uh, but I'm a single dad. I don't have money like that. There's plenty of single dads that do. Why aren't you one of them? Why aren't you one of them? Be honest. Are you really doing everything you can? Because there's a single dad who chose to be a fucking doctor. There's a single dad who chose to be an entrepreneur and fucking kill it. Why aren't you? There's no difference between us. Actually... I got dealt the worst hand, but I had the discipline to pull myself out of it. And fuck me, fuck me. That's why I succeed. Because fuck me and fuck how I feel and fuck if I want a vacation, my family means the fucking world to me. Doesn't that make you fucking sick if you're a bitch like that who can't handle themselves? The fact is, is I can help. Everybody can help. You have to build discipline. If you build discipline, and positive daily habits, and you attach some strong emotion to it. He had emotion. He had emotion. He just wasn't acting. When your positive affirming emotions match with your action, you will be unstoppable. And a lot of people that use drugs and have substance problems, they have so much emotion. They're so powerful within that they can't control it. It hurts me to think about because then they use the drugs because it hurts them so bad. They drink they use drugs to dull this intense emotion, but they need to redirect it. Life is a gratitude test. Life is a gratitude test. You can't cultivate and develop a high capacity to stay grateful unless it's built in the face of adversity. If everything always goes your way, gratitude will slip through your fingers. You have to learn to be grateful in times like this, times like this. I learned how to be grateful in the worst of times. I was grateful just to get up. I was grateful to just still be able to do push-ups all day and still have my shitty three trays. I'm gonna get it, at least I feel good because I'm not conducting myself in the opposite manner of respect for self. Respect for self is how we're supposed to conduct ourselves as men. We know what respectful acts are or not. Everybody out here wants success but they don't want to work on personal development. Let me, let me tell you something. Your success level will never exceed your level of personal development. Success is a byproduct of your level of personal development. It comes as a, as a fucking, an attribute of who you've become. Who you've become attracts a certain level of success. Your conduct, your character, your principles, how consistent you are, your level of comprehension, curiosity. These are all things that are going to attribute to your success. A lot of people fucking want it until they realize what the fuck they got to do to get it. Six month motherfuckers want 10 year payoff a motherfucker. The fuck is that shit? Wake up. Don't ever try to have something someone else has unless you put the fucking time in or you comprehend at such a high level that you get it. You understand why it works for you. If you can just really focus on the small things and do them at a high level, that's everything. That's everything. Learning to attach, attach massive meaning to something small makes you somebody who learns to attach meaning to life in general. Obviously, if you can attach a lot of meaning to something like a wake up time or doing laundry and having it crisp and folded, even though there's nowhere to go, you're going to be able to have massive meaning to something like your child's graduation. Everything, everything can be as much as we want it to be, or it can be as little as you want it to be due to your perspective and your level of presence in life, your engagement. Motherfuckers just don't see this. They don't see that they're a product of their level of personal development. So you must seek within. You must go to war with yourself, with your negative thoughts, with your negative habits, your characteristics. Shape the individual that we know exists. Successful people invest in mindset and health because we don't have life problems. We don't have business problems. We have mindset issues that hold us back from finding motherfucking solutions. You can find the solution if you have the correct mindset, if you're optimistic, if you're positive, if you have long view. 
you'll just keep going at it with an optimistic attitude and you'll get it when you get it. The universe is never the universe is never going to supply your growth how you want it, motherfucker. The universe don't give a fuck about how you feel or what the fuck you want. But it's going to deliver exactly what you need for the evolution of your fucking consciousness. So get ready. Get ready or get in line with universal laws. Get in line with, line with the universal laws. Karmic debt, law of attraction, law of diminishing intent. Get in line. If you don't ensue karmic debt, you ain't gonna have to pay for it. If you fucking walk in line and be a great man, everything goes your way. Your vibrations increased. When you walk in line with your conscience and every move you make is what your conscience is telling you, hey, fat fuck, don't have that burger this morning. Hey, go work out a little harder today. Hey, save that money, you don't need that. All these little hookups from your conscience are guiding you. But everybody wants that home run. They're living that home run life where they don't really have to listen to the small steps cause some big break's gonna save them. Motherfucker, if you get that big break, you're gonna fuck yourself. A lot of bitches in a pen got that big break and their big break, when we were in the penitentiary, your big break is getting out. When I finally get out, I'm gonna get my life together. Motherfucker, you gotta get your life together today because it's too late once you get your way. Once you get your way, it's going, it's, it's too good for you. You can only grow in times of adversity. You can only grow through the pain. So if you're waiting for the perfect time, you're going to blow it every time. You're not ready. Now you got your way and you go back to pleasure chasing. Now that pleasure chasing leads right back in the same circle. You go right back to the fucking pen because you're a bitch who couldn't hack it, who didn't see it when it was there, that it meant more to go your hardest when it's fucking everything's against you. When everything's against you and you still choose to put your heart into shit, that's who you are, motherfucker. That's who you are. These motherfucking princesses who need their way. You need your way, baby girl. Is that what you need? We make our fucking way around here. And when we wake up, if we don't see our desired circumstances, we create them. We create them. We don't wait for nobody to save us. We save us with our actions, our attitude, and our fucking level of gratitude that raises our vibration, brings us up. And when we come around those people, they say, that's the motherfucker for the job. Why? Because I can feel it. Why is nobody attaching anything to something greater? There's something greater going on here. Don't you want to tap into it? What about that day? What about that day when you really did wake up early? You really did get shit done. You really did eat correct and you really did work out hard. And you really were the best man to everyone you came across. Wasn't that day amazing? Wouldn't it make sense to recreate that day all the time if it was so amazing, motherfucker? I've never seen someone walk out the gym or finish a crazy workout and be phased by any negativity. Do you have the ability to understand that the root of your problems is you creating and cultivating the optimal mindset? Let's fucking go. Your anger may seem in inconsequential, but one wrong act can carry with it a lifetime of regret, a lifetime. I've had a bitch ass motherfucker, bitches on here, baby bitches who are still taking care of themselves say, Wes, you're not in prison anymore. Why are you still talking about prison every day? Motherfucker, I extract wisdom from my past life experiences. Only if you're letting your past hinder your progression in the moment, that's when it's negative. You can relive your past to fucking extract wisdom and apply it to this moment. In fact, that's the height of wisdom. That's the height, you stupid motherfucker. Whoever says that is the dumbest motherfucker alive. Because guess what? They're like, get out and do you. It's over. You're not in prison no more. Motherfucker, I'm helping people who are about to go, you stupid bitch. You're so fucking stupid that you're literally, you're still working on you. You're still worried about you at 52, baby girl. Figure it the fuck out, level up. But anyways, I got good at what I do because I was forced to create assets around me. If I let these men around me be liabilities, they would have took us all down. Same thing with your family. Bring your family up. Want to know how you bring them up? You don't talk about how to bring them up. You be about it, you fat motherfucking pussy motherfuckers who are afraid to chase your vision. 
Whatever that vision you have for of yourself is, it's non-negotiable. It's a call from your higher self to level the fuck up. It's not a what if, motherfucker. Your vision is not a what if. If you get out of your way and you walk in line with your conscience, every little step it supplies you, you will become what you see. Don't you see that? Don't you see that? If you wake up in the morning and your conscience says, quit eating so much, and then you come across my channel and I say, this is how you get ripped, you count your macros, and your conscience says, damn, I need to figure out how to count my macros. Don't you fucking see that that's where you're supposed to go? Stop talking yourself out of your level up due to your fucking pleasure seeking and your comfort chasing. You comfortable motherfuckers, I want this for you. Self-control is everything, it's everything. This has brought me to new heights and my family and my friends and so many of you. I'm so proud of you guys, I'm so proud of you guys. So many of you guys just don't even question it and that's what it's all about. You don't even question what I'm saying because you know and your conscience tells you, Wes has got the answer for me. He's really telling me it really worked for him. I really saw it. And if I get up earlier, if I eat healthier, if I work out harder, if I add more variables to those steps, then I will create someone bigger. If I learn to sit down, listen, and not wake up into fucking movies and shit, and live my movie, be my hero to my fucking story. I can create the future and the dream life that I always wanted. You guys, I'm so serious about this. It works 100%, but guess what it takes? It takes 100 fucking percent. People out here think that's ridiculous because they got a time frame, they got all this shit. We don't got a time frame. We're just trying to get rid of the pain, the massive pain in our hearts that we're missing our families that we don't know how to deal with it. Some people do it the wrong way and they turn to the vices. They stick the needle in their arm. Other motherfuckers go straight to those push-ups, and when they want, when those tears start to fucking formulate, they just get more and they just get more. This is the thing you guys don't know intensity because you ain't seen your boy get a knife put in his fucking neck for being a chump ass motherfucker. You ain't seen it. You ain't seen it and you don't realize that it's happened during a bad call. Bad call, your boy's sitting there. He gets straight whacked, what? So you don't, you don't know who to trust except yourself and your workout. Yourself and your workout, you put all into that, all into it. So you just learn to love yourself. You learn to have passion for building yourself. You learn to build that self-talk that's like, yeah, motherfucker, I'm doing more today. You have more detail with everything you do. You got pain out here. Your pain, my pain, it's all the same. The degree at which you handle it, it just comes down to life experience and how much you've dealt with it in your perspective. That's it. So my perspective to deal with pain is greater than yours because I've dealt with more. I don't give a fuck. It's nothing to brag about. I just use it to my benefit. Another bitch will sit on the corner homeless and cry about his pain instead of use it to push him forward. Pain is motivation, baby boy. Pain is growth. The fuck you doing? You got it. Use it. To where when people walk by by choice, they're like, oh shit, that dude gets it. Are you someone who gets it? Are you someone who doesn't? I'm talking about respect. Fuck, I'm talking about across the board. Do you get it, motherfucker? And if you do, prove that you do. Your self-talk can be ethical egoism based. That means you, you do have an ego. Your self-talk's based on ego. It pumps you up, it tells you who you are. It tells you how you conduct yourself, but you're doing it for the general correct purpose of building those around you. This is what it is. I can go over it all day because you guys won't get it. The ones that don't get it don't ever get it. They don't get a lot of shit. They don't get respect. They don't get what they want in life. And they don't ever get why they're so down on themselves by motherfucking choice. And the thing is, is because I want it for you. I want you to have the discipline. I don't want you to be down on yourself. In the pen, you can't be down on yourself. Because if you come up with that bitch ass energy, people are going to say, hey, bitch, what are you, hard time and pussy? What you got? They're just gonna fucking shark on you. I shark on a crybaby in the pen because he needs it. Because he needs it. You guys need it out here. You're too damn comfortable. You're letting your own fucking desires run a train on you. And guess what? In the end, you don't even enjoy the fucking pleasures that you think are gonna cause happiness. Consistently looking for happiness in the same place a bitch ass baby boy loses it. Motherfuckers don't wanna speak because they don't wanna live it. They don't wanna live it. They ain't gonna get on here and say every fucking day, I'll stay ripped because guess what they gotta do? 
They got to back their motherfucking word. And my dad told me when I was a kid that all I had was my word and I better fucking live it. And guess what? Not even the words I verbally speak. The ones in my head. The ones in my head that tell me who I'm supposed to be. The ones in my head that tell me what the fuck I'm capable of, motherfucker. There ain't no fucking benefit to being in the pen or being on the street. But there is a benefit to listening to shit like this that tells you it's your fucking choice, motherfucker. Your choice to gather the knowledge. Your choice to apply it. Your choice to sell out your dreams or not. If there's one thing I didn't do was it was take a motherfucking excuse from a motherfucker or give an excuse to a motherfucker. I'll be here for you guys. Guess what? Because I treasure my word. To my wife, to my son, to you guys, to everybody who supports me. I support them. A lot of you guys are going to surpass me. And I'm going to be there like this. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. I'm going to watch it happen. And I'm going to be the most thrilled motherfucker alive. Like a proud fucking dad watching his son who made it. You know what it is. Be exactly what you want in this life. Fucking become what you admire in every fucking way. This ain't no spectator sport. This is your one life, baby girl. You don't have to go to prison to be hard. You have to do what's hard to be hard. What's hardest for you, princess? Is it quitting that dope? Is it putting down the drink? Is it really fucking getting to work on something that works instead of continually putting so much effort into something that doesn't, which habitually creates a motherfucker who's okay with working and not getting his result? Is that you, baby girl? Let's fucking go. Find me a wise man and I'll show you the man who made the most mistakes. The most mistakes. The point is, we learn from them, we grow, and we overcome. Life is about overcoming. Life is about how we feel. And when we know something was extremely difficult for us, that's where the level up happened internally and externally. The person who wants to get it done is going to get that shit fucking done. Long story short, I got that shit done, got my ass served, learned from my mistake, never went back to that shit, never. Never touched a sip of alcohol again, never touched no white again. It was the best thing that ever happened. Like I said, regret is not your choice, motherfucker. You don't get to choose or not whether you regret something in this life. Regret is a fucking hookup from your higher self, from your conscience. It's not a what if. It's if you remove this, this fucking trait that causes you regret, this action or habit that causes you to regret, causes guilt, it's a for sure what you will be. You will be this vision of your higher self. It's a call. It's a call to step up. It's because you're meant for more. When you drop all the shit you, should, you shouldn't be doing, all the shit you should be opens the fuck up real quick. Life at this point, where I was, where you are, where we all are, life at this point isn't about adding more or what we should be doing. It's more about what we shouldn't do. It's more about what we shouldn't do. It's a lot easier to pinpoint the things that are causing regret, causing guilt, and just remove them from our lives. Expel them, extinguish them, get the fuck rid of them. That's a strong man. A strong man can change. I don't give a fuck if you've never been through shit like this that I've been through. I don't give a fuck if you're all positive and your life's all great. How does that help everyone? You came from a perfect life. Everything's perfect. That doesn't help nobody. The overcoming is everything. If there's nothing to overcome, then nothing happened. You were just positive and you're still positive. I fucking truly believe that if you come from a negative background, it means more to be positive. If you come from a violent place or you have violent thoughts, it means more to not exercise that violence. Everything is about what it means to us and it means more if we're being hindered by thoughts or habits or actions that would be on the negative side and we create fucking actual activities and strengthening events to create what we wanna be on the positive side. So we have to instill and create habits on the other side of our weakness to build it up, to level it up. So my new definition of everything is what hard could be, what a man could be. If a man shuts down everything that's hard for him, if it's hard for you to get up early, done. If it's hard for you to not be a dick, done. My biggest thing is not breaking character every fucking day. Not breaking character. That's my main goal. Do I still fuck up? Yes. How long does it take for me to fucking, to come clean about me fucking up? To apologize to the person? Not very long. Because I want the growth. I want the gains. It is my fault. It is my choice. Everything's your choice. 
I don't think people realize that where they're at in their life right now is the sum of their total choices that they've made in their motherfucking life. How you look, where you're at, your financial stability, whatever the fuck. Your choice, motherfucker. Nobody made you do that. If one motherfucker did it another way, then you could do it. If plenty of people are thriving right now during motherfucking coronavirus, then you can, motherfucker. Anything else is that victim, bitch-ass shit, and you ain't gonna get nowhere because you're not trying. You're letting that excuse be everything to you. I have a shitty metabolism, motherfucker. You just don't understand shit. That's it. That's it. Once you start to comprehend and understand that these are all your motherfucking choices, the whole world opens up. I got the fuck out of my way and started moving up really fucking quick. That's what will happen to you when you get the fuck out of your way for once. So this was my main regret. My main regret, which is not a choice. This was a path being supplied to me. We're meant to have things thrown in our path because every time we're hit with some adversity, a seed is planted for the equivalent virtue to take place. If we're strong enough, if we're smart enough, if we comprehend enough that these are all our motherfucking choices. Stop avoiding the struggle. Stop avoiding the struggle. Embrace the pain. On the other side of your pain is every answer you'll ever seek. You can't expect to be someone you're not in a brand new place. You have to learn that place, grow with that place, adopt its positive attitudes, adopt the positivity you can from it, even from a negative place. The positive sides of it was the strength you could gain from being in such a negative place and choosing a positive attitude, choosing positive actions when everything around you was so negative. I got you guys. We don't have to worry about the small shit no more. We just have to worry about our hearts our character, our conduct, and staying in line with the people we want to be. Only time in this life when you willingly give up your life, your time, your feeling, your heart, is when you willingly break character. Then you're stuck to that moment, that regret that ensues. You did that. When you get up and conduct yourself correct every day, even if you're in a box by yourself, you feel great. I've been there. I fucking love you guys. I would not come on here and continually tell you and show you that it's real. It's real. You ain't ready. So now my mom had to see my brother cry in the street handcuffed when he was doing good. And then she calls me and she's like, it was so bad. He's going through so much pain. Good. Good. You all need the pain. You need it. If you're still fucking up, I look for the pain. If you're having levels of success and you're not self-inflicting adversity, self-inflicting pain on yourself, you're never going to make it. You're going to start pleasure seeking for that, for that fulfillment and it never fulfills you. So you have to inflict that adversity in your life. The top successful people will run ultra marathons. They'll work out super crazy. Their diets are flawless because they need that. They need that adversity. They succeeded in the other areas except internal. That's why we have to fucking limit ourselves, control ourselves. The weakest point of a man is when he is out of control. When a man is out of control, that is pure weakness. I've been there. It's helpless. It's hopeless. It's pain. It's fucking going downhill so quick. It don't even matter if you're in the gutter. If you're looking at the stars, I had the biggest dreams. I would never sacrifice them. I didn't care because if I woke up, and I walked in line with the future I wanted to create, I was already there. You won't even notice it when you're here. When you're here, when you've made it, when you got all those things you thought you wanted, you don't even notice it then because every day you get to be what you choose to become. That moment you're 100% to who you're trying to create, you're him right then. When we put a time frame on all this shit and we need it so quick and we need this thing, it don't, it'll fucking always elude us, always. There's no past, there's no future. You wake up today and you create today. You bring it in, you bring that power in, that emotion and over and over and over in your head while you're in that pain zone, you think of your son, you think of your mom, and you say, I'm gonna make you fucking guys proud. This ain't shit to me. I know what you've been through for me. I know what I put you through. This is for me to fucking show you how much I love you. I'll go through it all. I need you guys to know this. Your selfishness, 
Those men who think they need those beers and they need to do this and need to do that. You're a bitch. You don't need shit other than to take care of your family and be the product they're proud of. So when they see you walk by, they're like, my dude, that's my dude. Best feeling on earth. I need you guys. I need it. I need you to not fall victim to this shit. It's a painful road and you ain't ready. The only time you're gonna be ready is right now. Get up and answer the call now. The call from your conscience. It's telling you moment by moment who to be, what to do, where to go, what to become, your vision, your path. It's all being supplied to you. I don't care. I don't care if it's hard for you to be grateful right now. I don't care if it's hard for you to diet. Guess what? I had it worse, much worse. You ever woke up in that cold, dark cell with the celly that's just negative? You're avoiding this motherfucker because you know you guys are about to blast each other the second that dude gets all victim and bitch about what ain't coming his way. Motherfucker, you get in this life what you earn in this life. You become the work you put in. Sick of that shit. Never, never accommodate a bitch-ass, soft-ass motherfucker for his shortcomings. Have that celly that you wake up, you get up early, you brush your teeth, spit in the motherfucking toilet, you have a glass of water, you have your coffee, sit there with your Folgers, let it marinate, pull out your book, read a little bit, get some deep inspiration, some emotional motivation, that shit that resonates in your soul. When I get out, I'm gonna make my mom proud. I'm gonna make my people proud. My boys are gonna say, that's my boy. He don't fucking stop. He gets it, he gets it. He don't want shit for free. You sit there and motivate and resonate with that, that emotional motivation that just gets you deep in your soul. You ever been around those people who really been through some shit, who are really going through some pain? Those are the most kind people. The ones that you know it's real. They can't, even, they can't even imagine being rude to the next person. Because in all reality, they're strong. They're strong. Rudeness is a weak man's imitation of strength. That fake motherfucker who ain't been through shit. What I do is I pull the best out of you because I've been in the worst. I've been in the worst and I actually turned it around. A lot of people been in the worst. A lot of people have. What'd they do with it? Did they thrive from it? Did they thrive from it? Well, if they didn't, because the mindset wasn't there. Your vision is your genius. It's supplied to you, motherfucker. Everything that's happened on this planet was once somebody's imagination that they brought into life, that people probably laughed at them about, probably laughed at them. And now they're looked at as a fucking genius. That's you. Talent hits a target nobody else can hit. Genius hits a target nobody else can see. That shit's everything. Fuck. If you can see it, it's not lofty enough. If they can see it, it's not lofty enough. You need those lofty goals that just fucking drive you from the inside. The creation of that man. That man that gives you the chills when you look at him from afar. I saw this man when I was in my cell, in the penitentiary, and I'm like, I'm gonna be sitting on that table in the day room over there at 250, fucking ripped, busting shit out everywhere, and show these soft ass bitches who the fuck I am. And I'm not gonna be a dick about it. I'm gonna show them who I am, and when they fucking come ask me how they can be their best, I'm gonna be there for them. This is what meant the world to me. If you pass on what worked for you in this life, You'll know the feeling I speak of. You'll fucking know it. When we teach, we learn twice. And in this life, teaching is everything. And you can't teach till you personify that shit. Baby girl, what's up? Too many people out here looking like something, not being it. Looking hard, but not possessing the wisdom. Wisdom's unbiased, motherfucker. Wisdom is unbiased, motherfucker. If you hear a quote that says, to know and not to do is not to know. Well, guess what? That fits you in all areas. Bitch, L fucking areas. I ain't even tripping. I ain't even tripping. Because there is no timeline around here. I don't have a timeline. I don't have a timeline. Because I understand it. How are you going to stay in flow state? 
How are you going to be tapped in if you put a timeline on your goals? Flow state, inner peace. The definition of this is not knowing time as it passes by. The second your dumbass puts a timeline on the shit, you're fucked. You need to use this as fucking fuel. Adversity is fuel. Pain is fucking motivation. You need to couple things together. A workout. A workout. It's fucking everything to increase your life, to extend this life you've been given. This When you can attach the deepest of meanings to the smallest, most insignificant task, you've found the way to infinite power. You've found it. I want you guys to know this so bad. Self-control is everything. I don't get another chance. You don't get another chance. This is one fucking life. We all got a life sentence. We all got a life sentence. I've been around motherfuckers in the pen who are happier than you motherfuckers out here. And they're doing a life sentence. They got okay with themselves. How did they get okay with themselves? They walked straight into that pain. And they said, I can take it. I'll endure it. So look what happened. Their self-talk matched their action toward the adversity. So walk into adversity. Ma magnify your self-talk. Understand that it's creating who you are. And set an example for your people. This is everything. I'll keep saying it. Because the day I don't, we lose a motherfucker. So I'm going to be here. Monday, Wednesday, Friday for life. Watch this shit, motherfucker. Around here and where I'm from... Your word gets you fucking killed or everything's taken from you. So you stick to it like your life depends on it. In this life, there is no lies. There's absolutely no lies, none. You are simply, your energy is simply a mixture of your self-talk and your actions. And that's just today. Every day you have a choice to get up and raise your rate of vibration, raise your energy, bring yourself to the level of what you see in your head, who you envision yourself as, your highest self. And that's why I simply say, to start off this process, you have to find what you admire in others and do that, be that, become that. It's that easy. You get the comfort by earning the confidence by putting in the work. You don't get to feel comfortable in a place you haven't fucking earned. You ain't that, that's not authentic. You're not fucking that. It's that simple. You can earn all the confidence you want today. But guess what? Key word, earn. In the penitentiary, all these tats are earned. Everything's earned. You don't get to look like something you're not, motherfucker. A motherfucker blasts you up because you put your work in, because you did your time, because you fucking handled that shit right. Everybody out here wants to get something before they earn it. I wanted to get Dago blasted on me when I got busted. I wanted to look like the older dudes that were fully blasted. I came in and I had some pieces on my arms. I had a back piece, but I wasn't blasted. I wanted that look. I fucking earned it. It's not nothing to brag about, but everything's earned. And when you earn something that big by putting your life on the line, you can learn to apply it in other areas. Earn your confidence right now. Earn your power within. Earn your ability to talk to yourself in a positive fucking way by actually being it and not trying to trick your subconscious with reading the last guru post. You're gonna land yourself in some trouble if you don't discipline yourself. It don't matter what type of trouble it is. It, what your pain and my pain, they're all the same. My pain management's just higher. I don't notice this. I don't even notice it's going on out there. I don't even notice that coronavirus is happening. It doesn't bother me. I don't need to leave my house. I'm not tripping. You gotta know that that's all perspective. Nothing out there exists to me. I don't even get validated by external shit. I go into my workouts wanting to raise my energy, raise my frequency, to pass it on. Cause that's the only thing that makes me happy anymore is to pass on that quality energy and know I affected someone in a positive way, whether in person or on fucking tech, on social media, across YouTube, Instagram, it feels great. Anyone who's denying that ability to do that to people doesn't understand it. And what we're truly only addicted to is escaping reality through these vices and drugs and substances. So in all reality, the root to cure this is to create a life that you don't need to escape from. A life that you wanna get up and live every day. People always ask me, why 245, Wes? 
Why 245? And it's because I'm so excited every day to get up and live this life I've created that is pure inner peace, pure gratitude, and just everything I wanted life to be. How did I create this? The work. The work did it. Consistent work, consistent internal work and external work. These affirmations that I share on here, these affirmations that I share in the morning on my Instagram, these are what gets you through the day. This is internal work. This is planning character. This is planning who you aspire to be. This is solidifying the characteristics of the man you're creating. Now we have to go through these steps daily. Strength is repetition as I always say. I sat on lockdown in the shoe with no reason to get up that early other than personal growth. So what is more grateful than getting up early to further your life and grow internally and break that pleasure? What's more grateful than that? Nothing, I say it all the time. So the point is we have to keep telling you guys because you're slipping, people are slipping. And that's okay, you're not supposed to be good at this. You have to get up and tell yourself who you are with action. If you don't get up and tell yourself who you are with action, then the negativity is gonna ensue. You're gonna start doubting yourself. Nobody is inherently confident. Confidence is earned. You may look at someone who's in good shape and has it all together, but if they didn't earn it that day, they're not confident. That's a fact. That is a fact. What we have to do is stick to our morning program. In the penitentiary, this is paramount. It's everything. It's everything. You get up and you tell yourself who you are with your action. You go straight in to your reading, your coffee. You sit there. You're waiting for count. Then you go get chow. You come back. You get your workout on. You get ready for yard. And you go hit those motherfucking bars. What's going on? How's your day going? Are you creating the person you want to be with your actions? Because your daily actions dictate your future. You know that. We know this. This is the problem though. Everybody wants the answer and wants the path before they put their heart into their work. You have to put your heart into your work before you get supplied the answer, before you get supplied the path. Most of you guys are gonna have to fail a million fucking times. And that's why I look at this as a good thing. Good, you're losing shit, good. Lose it, get rid of shit, get rid of more shit. And then seek within and validate yourself with everything that fucking matters to a real motherfucker. His heart, his conduct, his character. You won't see me break this because I speak the fuck up. Because I live it. Because I'm accountable to you. Because I love my word. Because I got love for you guys and everybody who believes in themselves and pushes themselves for their people. Thinking is the speaking of the soul with itself. The conscience is the authentic voice of God, higher power, higher intelligence, the energy source. People don't meet you. They meet your energy way before you walk in the room, way before you walk in the room. So when you fucking leave your house, when you get up in the morning, your main job is energy creation for those people around you and yourself. Nobody wants to be around that shot out blame game ass shit. The solution is to adapt or perish right now, motherfuckers. Build yourself with what you can. Get on that motherfucking floor and find your answers. Don't expect them to be gifted before you put the work in. We earn answers around here, motherfucker. They come from above, motherfucker. They come from above when you prove that you're a quality facilitator of the message. When you're a quality facilitator of this message, it's delivered to you. It's delivered to you loud and clear. The answers come clear and abundant all day. Those are the winners. The ones that tap in through gratitude. The ones that won't give up. The ones that don't give a fuck about how they feel. They just know they got up that day. They just know they got blessed with another 24, motherfucker. We can't cure anyone or help anyone until we help or cure ourselves. And once we've cured ourselves... Oh my God, the power. It feels so great that you have to give it away. Or you're just sitting there by yourself examining how fucking dope it is when that's bullshit. Wake the fuck up, create the man you admire, give him the fuck away. Clarify your vision, plan with precision, plan with precision. The morning process I always teach, the program, the steps is how we create who we wanna be. Our self-talk, our action. This creates the man we're aspiring to be.
People always act like environmental changes are going to be the determining factor of whether they fucking suck and fall victim to their excuses or they don't. Look it, you're on lockdown all the time in the world now. You better come out ripped now. When I was in the pen, cops would always say, oh, if I had all the time in the world to work out, I'd be ripped too, Watson. No, you wouldn't, motherfucker. You'd be eating fucking snacks tenfold because you're a victim of your feelings in that way. You haven't figured out to run to self-growth over vices when shit gets rough for you. So you snack your fucking pain away, you fucking shoot it up, you drink it, whatever the fuck you do to cure that pain you have internally. You haven't figured out that you have the cure for everything that ails you inside of you and you can cure yourself. And guess what? It's usually the hardest shit that cures us. The harder we go, the more cured we are from our bullshit that we put ourselves through. I put myself through negativity and anger. That's my problem. If I go hard enough in my fucking workout, then I cure myself of my anger. So the cops in there would always, man, Wes, I'll be ripped like that if, if I just had 24 hours a day to work out. No, you fucking wouldn't. Here's everybody's chance. You got 24 hours a day, you better fucking step the fuck up now with that big ass fucking mouth. Them other motherfuckers always saying, oh, the loudest man in the room is the weakest man in the room. Motherfucker, what room you in, motherfucker? You ain't in my room, motherfucker. Fuck no, you ain't. I was loud in the hardest rooms because I didn't give a fuck and I knew my words were valid straight up. This is the fucking thing. Everybody's talking like it's black or white. It's not just action. People can show up with action, and if their self-talk is straight bitch-made, it has the adverse effect. Oh, I'm not liking this. This ain't for me. That's why I tell people, man, don't even operate out of feeling. Drop that feeling. Quit operating out of that feeling. Put that shit, leave that shit at the gate, as we say in the penitentiary. Leave your feelings at the fucking gate. And this is how fucking, this is that black and white shit where people think, you don't have feelings in one area and another. It's just about feelings about how the fuck you feel about the stuff you gotta do to be the man you wanna be. Fuck those feelings, but a real man has feelings towards his family, towards his people. He has really strong ones. These are his emotional motivators. Your emotional motivators are everything. You need to get up and selflessly motivate yourself with that picture in your head. That picture in your head of your family and making them proud. That picture in your head of the family that you are going to have in the future. The person you're going to be in the future. You're supposed to think about you from that 30,000 foot view and feel the energy that others feel from you because you're fucking congruent with who the fuck you want to be. You're authentic. The universe is providing you, you that higher vibration because you live in the manner that's correct with what you're fucking speaking. You're not trying to just seek validation from another man with straight up lies and delusion. If you keep showing up every day, if you keep fucking showing up every day and you ain't getting your desired result, well, guess what? You ain't put enough heart into the areas that count and you need to go back to the drawing board. The penitentiary exposes people. It's completely obvious. You can't hide from yourself. You can't hide from nobody else. So that's why everybody would tap out and just give me the keys. I would walk into a building and one person would have the keys and they would tell me within the first week, hey, Wes, when I leave, can you take the block? Fuck yeah, I'm taking the block. That's how it always happened. Dope fiend ain't taking the shit. We need someone in charge. People are always like fucking saying people are controlling people. Motherfucker, this is inspiration. This ain't manipulation. Man manipulation leaves someone ending, leaves the end person, the end result worse off. Inspiration fucking builds people up. There's two motherfucking ways that one can exert their strength. One is by pushing down like a bitch. One is by pulling up like a real motherfucker. I saw this a long time ago. I did it for my people, the lowest ones, the ones that were in the places that I've been, the pain I've known, the shit that I felt, the shit that crippled me. We give that fucking power from within. We know when we're giving it. We know when we're giving it to ourselves and to others. Wake up, tell yourself who the fuck you are, get to fucking work creating the person you're proud of. This ain't rocket science. What the fuck am I doing here? I'm doing the most ordinary shit in an extraordinary way. And the only thing extraordinary about it is I do it every fucking day whether I give a fuck about it or not. That's the secret. You want to know the secret? That's the secret. 
Pros operate out of commitment. Amateurs operate out of their bitch ass feelings. They're all caught up in their feelers. Their feelings fuck them off every day. Oh, I feel like doing this. Well, how about you equate that? Do you feel like having tits after you feel like eating that cake? I don't give a fuck about cake. I don't want my son to say, look at my dad and his titties. I want my son to say, look at my fucking dad. He's a beast. Done. Done. In every area. Not slacking in one more than the fucking other. If one motherfucker did it, you can do it. If one motherfucker did it, you can do it, motherfucker. The fuck? That victim shit like that dude's blessed because he gets up and works harder. I don't give a fuck about equality. I don't want equality. I don't want to be equal to the guy who thinks harder and works harder than me. And I don't want a motherfucker who don't put in the work like me for the duration of time I had to have everything I have. I don't want that. He didn't put in the work like me. He hasn't put the time in. Motherfuckers out here three years in wanting that 13 year pay. I get 13 year pay because I've been in this 13 years. Get 13 year results in your physique when you've done 13 years of fucking flawless fucking days. Perfect days strung together will create the man you want. Don't fucking lie to yourself. You know if you're selling your fucking goals out or not. You fucking know. Don't want 10 year pay in two years, you delusional fucking asshole. You get 10 year results when you get 10 years. The dudes who got the physique that I'm like, damn, that dude's killing it. They've been at the game 20 years. I got seven to go. I ain't quitting. I'll be there. It's muscle maturity. It's financial maturity. It's emotional maturity. These are the fucking keys to building anything. And they take time. They take life experience. This shit ain't gifted upon nobody. Preparation for life is everything. There ain't no motherfucking such thing as luck. There's preparation meeting opportunity. When you sit down and prepare right now, the opportunities are going to open up soon. And whether you're fucking ready or not is going to be whether you prepare today, motherfucker. But nobody wants to go within. They're traveling ev everywhere else. They're traveling everywhere else except within. Within is the only place you need to be comfortable. All that shit's a facade. If you ain't, ain't okay with yourself, you're a bad motherfucking company and I've said it before. So you're getting a first-hand dose this is a first-hand dose of who the fuck you are. You're not who you are when everything's positive and perfect in your life. You're that motherfucker who says, woe is me when shit gets negative. And this ain't even negative. This ain't even shit. I'm going to keep saying it. I'm just going to keep saying it because every fucking day I was in the penitentiary, every fucking day I was holding back tears. At one point or another, Every fucking day I was holding back tears. So I know a lot of you are. Want to know what got me through each day? One quote, one saying, the glow of one warm thought that just opened up my heart and mind and showed me that I need to be grateful for who the fuck I am and where the fuck I am and what the fuck I got. What the fuck I got. The motherfucker who will always win is the person who will have the best attitude and work his hardest in the absolute worst situation. Motherfuckers want the most optimal situation before they start putting in work. Just start putting in work. The only thing holding you back in this life is your discipline. Your discipline is the only thing holding you back. If you have five to seven chances a day to raise your discipline through what you eat, the hardest area, the hardest area to control, why don't you take it? Don't you want discipline? You ain't gonna read from it. It ain't coming from a guru. You don't get it from watching this video. You have to apply it, motherfucker. Your subconscious knows your bullshit if you're not fucking applying it. Apply this shit, I want it for you. I want to respect people. I have to, I have to, I have to create assets around me because I can't live dis with disrespect in my heart for these people who give less than their capabilities. Give everything you fucking got, all of it, all of it. So ask for help, hit up a mentor, someone who's been there. They're gonna get you past it quicker. Isn't your fucking time worth more than fucking hiring someone and dropping your ego and getting the fucking hookup? This is it, you're ready. You're getting prepared right now to be your best. Solitude, solitude, solitude is where we find our answers. Sacrifice, sacrifice is where the success comes from. Everybody can gain, but the motherfucker who can sacrifice while he's gaining, he's gonna get everywhere. Perpetual pleasure chasing is what drives every motherfucking successful dude in the dirt, the straight dirt. 
Be fucking focused. Apply this fucking wisdom. It will work for you 100%. I only push the hard way because that's the way that works without fail. But I didn't want the TV no more. It was just causing me to hard time. In the pen, we call it hard timing. When we think too much about shit that's out of our control, don't hard time right now. The way to not hard time is to stick to being productive. Knowingly raising your vibration, raising your frequency, raising your energy. This is done through the things I talk about, the exercise, reading, reading positive shit, staying fucking in a positive mind state. People always ask me, how do you keep your energy high? I'm like, motherfucker, I'm accountable to my goddamn energy. I'm accountable to my motherfucking energy. So when my energy starts failing, I am accountable to it and I go pick it up. Don't just let your energy fail and then wait for the fucking pixie fairy to come fucking pick your ass up. You have it in you to pick yourself up at any fucking moment. So I turned my TV around and I started focusing on these three workouts a day. I started reading every quote book I can, handwriting them down, whole books, 800 page quote books, handwriting them down on paper. I started reading a few different books over and over that I liked, only a few different books because that's all you have. You don't have endless fucking books. But I turned my TV against the wall and the older homeboy who had the spot up top, Buddy Rogers from Fontana, he just signs down to me. He calls me to the window. My cellie, go, uh, Steve at the time, he goes, hey Wes, uh, Buddy wants you at the window. So I go over to the window, window's about this fucking wide, this tall, and I'm looking up to the top tier. And I'm, I'm like, what's up homeboy? And he's like, He's like, what the fuck? And I'm like, what? He's like, he's like, he, he, he said, why? Why'd you turn your TV off? Because they thought I was hard timing. They thought I was going through it. Like these dudes in there think, are still thinking pleasure is the way to happiness. Like when you get your pleasantries, you get your fucking ho-hos, your zuzus, your wham-whams. That's what we call fucking snacks in there. When you get your baby boy snacks and you get your TV and you get your stuff, your little creature comforts, life's gonna get better. Fuck no, it made it worse for me. It made it worse. I didn't want that. I found within that if I stepped into the pain, that if I faced it head on, it would go away quicker. It just, it just stayed stagnant when I didn't face it. Those what ifs just kept crawling in my head. Those questions, those, those questions of why. Why don't they write me? Why aren't they answering? Why can't we come off lockdown? Why are we doing this? That's that victim shit. That's when I noticed that victim shit. Some motherfucker in my comments earlier was like, oh yeah, real positive, uh, 10 million jobs lost. Oh fucking well, oh well. What the fuck are you gonna do about it? Bitch about it and cry about it and point fingers? Or are you gonna get to it? There's jobs still, people are still working, get one of those. I know it's not that easy, but nothing worth doing is. There will be a silver lining. There was a time in your life where you didn't have a job and you had no money, right? And then you made it to where you are now, right? What the fuck, how is this any different? Why is it woe is me? None of us are that bad, we're in America. Most of us are in America. But I mean, there's people around the world who live much worse than us and my heart goes out to those people. The glow of one warm thought during your worst days is everything. And why do you think I, I retained all this wisdom and all these quotes? Because I was dying inside. My heart was broken. I didn't know when I'd ever see my parents again. It had been five years at this point, six years, seven years, eight years, nine years, 10 fucking years that I hadn't seen my mother's face. You guys don't fucking just zero in on your fucking situation. 30,000 foot view. It's not that bad. Your fucking problems are minuscule. It's time to spend every ounce of energy finding the solution because if one motherfucker found it, then you can find it too. Get to fucking work.